really interesting options in it. And uh, but they, re- you know, when they pop up, they don't pop up often, often which ju- they pop up at just the right amount, you know what I mean? Just the right yeah. frequency, just to keep it entertaining. And I like to say that uh, the, the bloke in my bedroom was really weird. Oh, why has it done this? Ah, oh, there we go. There's just a bit of a delay. Right, turn the sound off on that. That's double checking everything's working. It should be all set up. So, hmm, I didn't know you could do that. What? <laughs> oh, who was it on about that? Uh, where white guys get away with this all the time. And uh, the police are like, I'm sorry, officer. I didn't know I couldn't do that. All right, welcome to the live stream, guys. Uh, I will figure out how to upload these as videos when we're finished. Small steps. Small steps, small steps. This is the only second live stream we've ever done. And I don't even know what I'm going to paint today. Or do. I like the freedom of this. I was tempted to do some green stuff work today. Do that one. I could do, but I'm going to keep nailing this um, hours and hours into this new technique. Because I think it's coming along all right. All right. Paints. I'm gonna have to find a lid for my wet palette though. Just wasting materials here. Oh no, it's the paper every time, and you know, with the blobs of paint. Doing this technique, you use so little paint. Lesser paint, fewer paint. I don't know. I don't care if they really that much about the grammatical way of saying it, but yeah, it uses a lot. Little. Yeah. I think grammatically. I don't know, I'm right. It's probably a different matter, but. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I managed to paint most of that model and barely used any of these paints, like, at all. <laughs> and my very dark blue. Or was it despair green? Oh, I can't remember now. It's in flow, it's not yours, it's mine. No, it was the despair green, I think Get I was using. Get off my blue. I've, got, I've had enough of all your paints, to be honest. I've got most of the scale 75s over here. <laughs> Pretty sure it was Error. this despair green. Error? Is not receiving enough what? Oh, god damn it. Error, YouTube is not receiving enough... Something. Great. Yeah, move your camera, uh, camera screen. Ah, uh, that's great. It's being weird. Ah, uh, that's typical. And I had to put that back. All right, guys, we appear to be <laughs> suffering with some technical issues. Oh, that's typical. Come on, nothing will gonna be smooth. Hey, it went smooth on Monday. That was Monday. Alright, try and put that back in the center of the screen. Yeah, we are new to live streaming, so you have to bear with us a sec. Should have really got that set up a few minutes before, but then the other computer decided it was going to act up. I'm pretty sure it's despair green. Should have written down. Yeah, I've got video footage, but that's never going to be enough. I don't know why we're getting that error though. Technical issues in the morning. That's what you need. Try and get that line back up. Right, has that fixed it?
I don't know why we get such a delay on here either. I think that's just normal. We've got to go for the internet then. Up to the old internet. Alright. We'll see how this goes, but I'm not sure why I've got that error. Hopefully, we're coming through with something reasonable. Alright, let's get back to doing some painting. Still trying to learn the loaded brush technique. Apply some water. Trust us, I, I thought for some reason, like an idiot, I'd be able to just switch everything on the way it was and not have any issues. <clears throat> I was optimistic. Very. That's where I went wrong, I think. Optimism. It's going to focus a bit better. There we go. That should be a bit sharper now. All right, so I can't remember what my color palette was. Sunset purple, let's scale 75. El Dandil violet, scale 75. And what else did we use? My health by scale 75. Yeah, my health white. By scale 35 and the spare green. So, tiny bit of the Mahove white. Mix that with a little bit of the purple. And blend that onto the model. I don't need to bring those up a lot brighter. This is gonna take me forever. Still working on Angron. Um, and and non metallic. <laughs> Still working on his chest piece. You're a glutton for punishment though with the non metallics. Gotta learn it, huh? Yeah. You can't learn it unless you do it. Yeah. So I may as well try and do it on something what I'm actually invested in. Best way to learn any new technique. If you're not invested in the model, you're just only going to uh, focus on the flaws in your paint job. All right, so that's gone on pretty quick. Uh, dry a bit. This bit's not very smooth, but what we'll do, wet that a bit more. And then we'll just make the last purple in a little bit and add some of the darker purple and blend those. Over the top. And long brush strokes, blend them back out. Be nice to get this smooth and not grainy got a ways to go before that then a tiny bit of that purple and mix that in with the green and add in some shading a little bit more green I find pulling the paint out from the shade and then cleaning your brush and blending it back the other way seems to work quite well Uh, was that video footage coming out for everybody else? We hope it's okay. Uh, two people currently watching. Hey guys, um, we're both here, both Andy and Dodge. Um, we've only got one camera going at the minute. Uh, we're working on 
So you can have, a, so you can see both desks. Uh, which reminds me, the camera stand is coming today, this evening. Sweet. I got that ordered for you. So I've been um, playing around with the uh, Night Lord list. I've got a, ton a couple of tournaments coming up. Mm. Um, so I'm trying to figure out a way of getting Abaddon into my army without completely breaking it. So I actually How does he break it, though? Um, the Agents of Chaos uh, um, in Arts of Omen um, doesn't interact correctly. Yeah. Um, so he might turn my Legion trait off. Yeah. You know, that's helpful. I mean, it's a crap trait, yeah. But I'd rather play with a crap one than not at all. Not all. Yeah. Um, I thought they removed the Legion trait issue. Well, but they did, and then Arts of Omen came out. And changed it back. Then everything went sideways again. Um, but apparently, it, uh, I mean, if it's just, provided it doesn't, um, screw up my Warlord traits, it's not a massive problem. Yeah. Um, because it can't, it's, apparently you can't take faction, uh, sub-faction relics if a uh, new Warlord's not from... That faction. That faction. It's fair enough. I mean, it's an inconvenience, but not a problem. Yeah. You're determined to take Abaddon. Well, he's just too good to not have. Yeah. He, wo he walks up to Imperial Knights and just puts them on the backside. I think he should do, though. I mean, Games Workshop's finally got it right and is making Abaddon something reasonable to be feared. Oh, mate, he's an absolute beast, eh? Uh, and even without using all his Warlord traits, which is completely wasted if you're not playing Black Legion, hmm. um, he's still such a buff machine. It's well. just a buff machine. Yeah. And it don't work for nobody but you. Um, but yeah, it's so, it, it, it's just so good all round, you know what I mean? Mm. Even with the price hike, it's still just not an auto include now at a price hike. Yeah. Um, What's his price now? He's 350 points now. Rather than 300. Uh, that's quite a jump. It is a jump, but it's still totally worth it. Um, so it's like throwing Abaddon in. I'm going quite character heavy, which is unlike, uh, unusual for me. It is actually. You usually uh, throw in lots of random bits and pieces. So I've got like five, including Abaddon, five characters. Yeah, that's not like you. No, I'm only in two or three. Um, that's probably where I'm going wrong, to be honest, because Chaos characters are really good. But uh, yeah, if um, if I can't take my faction relic, it just means I need to um, give a similar relic to my demon prince. Yeah, you got a demon prince. Well, hopefully, hopefully I'll be um, I'll have the conversion of Gilliman done in time. If not, I'll just use the curse. Mm. Curse thing. Converting Gilliman. Yeah, to be a demon. Prince. Well, to be combat curse and. You still got your old Comrade Kerr's model. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, if I can't, if I don't. And the face on that is stunning. It's just, you could tell where you got bored. bored. Yeah. Um, so, Comrade Kerr's <coughs> a demon prince in one, one format or another. Mm -hmm. uh, if I have to get rid of the relic I want to use, it means I've got to change his mark as well. Uh, that changes the whole. Again. The whole layout of the army, really. Just on him. Hmm. I just have to change him from Sonesh to Nurgle. Uh, so I can give him a similar relic. Yeah. Uh, but that, it's a demon weapon rather than a, just a regular relic. I haven't even read the Chaos Codex yet. That's because I don't have time to read anything. You can't read. Uh, that would also help, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> You only get sat there for getting Jen to tell you what everything meant. Yeah, I just look at the pictures. What's that say? <laughs> it's not that bad. Hey, you guy. Sometimes it's that bad. <laughs> oh, when I'm drunk, mate, and I'm trying to type something into YouTube to listen to, not a prayer. Yeah, that's allowed when you're drunk. Yeah, but the dyslexia gets so much worse. 
Are you sure it's dyslexia and not just being a flip? Eh, it could be either. A combination of both, probably. Yeah, that's more likely the option. I do enjoy this technique, but it requires a lot of concentration when you're learning it. Yeah, I get that, mate. I can't wait for it to become second nature. That's a weird phrase. Second nature. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose it is a bit. I don't see really why you can have a second. Yeah, you got a point. There's no second nature, is it? Yeah. It's like saying, oh, the second reality. I reckon there's one. There's, there. there's only <laughs> one. <laughs> Or second infinity, there's, on, there's only one, because infinity encompasses everything. Lies. That would include the that would include the second infinity. Anyway, it's a bit early for philosophy. Just ask the flat earthers. Oh, don't ask the flat earthers anything. I wouldn't even ask flat earthers for directions. No, it's because they'd get it wrong. Yeah, that's true. Do the thoughts of Back to the pink. Flat. I swear that's just a troll that got well out of hand. Yeah, I reckon. Somebody in the dis in the past is just giggling to himself. Yeah, right? Somebody on 4chan's just howling every day when they wake up. Oops. That, as that escalated quickly. <laughs> it's almost like a cult following now. Imagine that though, because it was literally just a troll. Yeah, we got three current viewers. Oh, All right, guys. Yeah. Feel free to uh, hit up the chat box. It does give us something to talk about, which is one of the things me and Andy like most about the live streaming is just chatting with other painters. We had a very nice chat on Monday. Yeah, yeah. Um, we had a really uh, chatty viewer on Monday. That was really nice to see, especially considering it was our first day. Yeah, the tips for the live stream were <laughs> very welcome. Did you actually make that gone in five, uh, back in five minutes thing? I did not yet. Uh, hello, dudes. Morning, Justin. So what do you paint, Justin? What, what we're trying to do with this live stream is we're trying to make it like, well, sitting around the old painting table, Games Workshop, but doing this live so anyone can paint and join in. Or if you're not a very good painter, always ask for advice i'm pretty sure if i've got my phone on me you can tag things in instagram for us to look at we can give color recommendations or ideas gives us something to uh, discuss we do that a lot on youtube as well actually on the uh, videos try and advise people when they're asking but they tend to ask questions about paints for videos we did five years ago <laughs> and we don't we don't have the paint list anymore but, yeah sorry guys uh that AK-47 versus Warhammer paints. Hmm. I guess it has to be AK Interactive, doesn't it? I think you mean yeah, AK Interactives. Um, Warhammer paints are good. Citadel's good for the, the range of colour. The, well, they don't match up very well. No. Um... I haven't really used, if it, is, if it is AK Interactive paints, we don't use much of those, although we love their effects. Yeah, their model effects are great. Ah, Flames of War and Snotling miniatures. Good old Snotlings. Green skins all the way, mate. He says while painting Chaos. Flames of War is a... Uh, so I used to play a bit of bolt action. Mm. Um, I was never very good at it. But uh, because I, I didn't play it long enough, but um, yeah, Flames of War's uh, it, it, that's um, Second World War era, isn't it? And like I say, Snotlings, Snotlings are great. I thought Flames of War was another fantasy one. No, that's isn't that the one they played King in the War. grid? Ah, oh, Kings of War. You, well, you can see how I'd mix that up. I think Flames of War's the alternate to Bolt Action. Ah, that's the one Leon plays, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, have you seen his channel recently? It's doing really well. Yeah, he's uh, really working hard on it. Yeah. I've not spoke to him recently. Shout out on the live stream to our man Leon and his channel. What's the name of his channel? Turncoat Games. Turncoat Games. Yeah, his videos do really, really well. He's got a very good uh, 
community behind him. Yeah, because he does a lot of historical stuff. Um, so Amber, uh, very very uh, niche, so we're quite interactive with each other. Yeah. Now there's a, like, they don't like, they, whereas Forty um, K has got law. Ever work with oil paint? It's only for only for pin, pin, washers. pin pin washers usually. Yeah, but it's something I definitely want to try out to see some really nice effects with oil paint. Um, and not just for effects. I actually want to, you know, probably try them out with a uh, on a model because uh, you do set, get some good, interesting results with them. In fact, um, the only other time I've used the oil paints was the Gorkonaut. For the golden demon and i was using it to paint basically oil effects onto the claw and that came out came out, came out really well but you've got to put so many layers of varnish on to hold it on so it doesn't smudge yeah yeah well, again it's a completely different um method it, it, it added a, a nice texture to the flat surface all right so we're going in with that pu little purpley pink again I now can't remember the name of, and a little bit of the off white. And a little bit of the dark purple, and blend that in there. I might put some them, but I'm not sure about copyright law. Yeah, we might be in a bit of trouble with copyright. We could potentially find royalty free music, it'll be, <laughs> it'll be naff, but. I'm going to blend those out together. Add a little bit more of that pink and white and blend back the other way. I'm waiting for the moment where I feel like I can have this done in a couple of brush strokes. Uh, that's the goal. Yeah, butter painting makes this technique look so easy. And then a tiny bit of actual white. Never really watch any of his videos. They're very long. They're better suited to be streams, and I think that's how he's done most of them. Uh, done them as streams like this because the technique takes so long, you can't really make a tutorial out of it. Because the tutorial would be one armor plate on repeat. Yeah. And it's the same technique all the way through. I like El Angel Rales. I mean, the bloke's amazing. But the only problem is his first language is Spanish. So, ah, uh, so it's uh, the English is not so great. <laughs> if it is in English. Yeah, I can't fault him for that, though. He's got the skills. Yeah, we can, we can barely speak English, and we are English. Yeah. I'm still not getting those highlights as bright as I would like them. Uh, it's still a bit patchy. It's going to be a difficult one to master this. I keep going back to just general glazing or wet blending rather than the actual technique I'm supposed to be doing. Tiny bit of white, a bit of pink. And blend the pink and keep scrubbing that across until it goes white. And I need to shade that a little bit. Hey, there we go. The problem with this is I'll be able to do it for a couple of brush strokes and then go back to my old habits. I'm looking forward to getting that second camera set up for you. People could switch between the two cameras then. Yeah, you can get a, a good view of your model or uh, my thumb. They can watch whatever they want. It usually is your thumb. The amount of times I edited your video and it's like 15 minutes of your thumb. Like, what are you doing, Andy? 
to be fair, your setup was not really the greatest for recording. I could see why you would struggle with that a lot. Not being able to see your screen, that's that's a bit of a pain. Definitely. And not being able to sit still makes it no. more complicated. Well, that one definitely went in the way it should do. Oh, yeah. Giggity. It was either an oh yeah or giggity. Who was oh yeah? Was that Johnny Bravo or June Nukem? No, that's oh, oh yeah is um. Oh, that's a cool Kool-Aid. Man. There's a massive quote co- um, comment there. Oh, a massive comment. How are hobby shops in your country here in North Michigan? They're closing up because of Amazon. Missed the nineties. Wow. Um. We've got a few. Um, the hobby shops seem to do, do, do fairly well. Um, Shout out to our, <laughs> to our guys, Composite Games. Yeah. Um, Go on our videos and follow. Oh, wait, is Composite Games won't deliver to America, will they? Uh, well, I suppose it would do. Um, but yeah. Uh, Shipping fees would be ridiculous. Yeah, we, we have a decent um, community uh, gaming, gaming store to uh, set up over here. We have a, a few smaller stores that are smaller than Games Workshop. Yeah. Um, Doncaster, where, uh, where we are, uh, often very, very often struggle. Um, but uh, in the nearer cities like Sheffield or Leeds, um, they do pretty well. Yeah, in major cities. They still have one in Meadowhell? No, Games Workshop uh, closed that one down like, a long time ago. Yeah, I didn't think that one would get that, you know, it was that much event. interest. Uh, oh, no, it was always busy. Uh, but, um, plus, obviously, it's in a big shopping centre. Uh, it's just hideously expensive to run. Yeah, I bet it is. Uh, Meadow Hell used to be all right, but then they closed the lanes and tidied them up. The lanes being scruffy was kind of its thing. Yeah, it was. That's why That was my favourite bit, the it's only like, bit worth going to. It's you like, know, like shambles in York. Yeah, like, or Camden, down in London. It's like bits and bobs markets. Always smelled of incense and other random knickknacks. Yeah. And then they neatened it all up. It was just like, it lost its charm. Sort of a flea market vibe. Yeah, I like that place. That's a really good coffee shop there. Right in the corner of it. I don't remember the coffee shop. Uh, I don't think I remember. Oh, I didn't know you ever worked in Meadowell. Yeah. Uh, How many years in hell did you do? Oh, I did about six months before working for Games Workshop at the time. Yeah. Uh, oh, that explains that. And, uh, yeah, I worked it over the Christmas period. And uh, that was um, an experience I never want to repeat. Yeah, terrible, <laughs> terrible, <laughs> terrible, custo- <laughs> terrible customers. Worst time of year to be doing anything. My suggestion, get completely drunk for the entire season. You could do it for the entire year if you get away with it. I try. I'm not as young as I used to be. Yeah, tell me about it. No, the bigger the, bigger the armour plate, the more difficult that is to get right. Pull that forward. No, that's not what I was going for. I just seem to struggle with this one side of the model for some reason. That's a random thought. Now, you draw as well, Andy, right? Probably. Right. When you start the first line, yeah. I don't know if this is just me, I'll start and I'll make a curve, but the curve would be... Oh, I'll just show them on camera. Right? It'd be this way. Always. Like, I'm wondering if other artists that draw have a curve that they start with. Because it always tends to be the same thing. So how I got good at drawing eyes on paper is it always be that and then work from that. And I'm wondering if it's the same with brushes. Like, you know, the way you apply things. So the model being at the opposite side is actually affecting my brush stroke. Maybe. Yeah. I can't say I've noticed because um, I've never really thought about it, to be honest. It's just sort of when I do... Sketch. Mm. I'll say what I do in drawing. And it's a massive overstep of my ability. <laughs> uh, 
And I can't say I that was a specific part. Uh, it might just be me then. It was just a random thought. I mean, maybe if I think about it next time I, uh, I can feel up something for Mark. That yeah, m- maybe I'll notice it. Pink. No, this isn't. I'm not doing this right again. I hate that. I get it just right, and you're like, I've mastered the technique. Today. Uh, yeah, for mm-hmm. like a minute. And um, right back to mucking it up again. Right, and then that needs to go to white. So the white goes underneath, then the pink over the top. Start from the pink section. And blend down to bring it lighter. It could be as simple as me just mucking up the order of what I put the paint on the brush. Yeah, it could easily be that. I mean, that's the thing. Uh, we're doing a load of brush and using multiple colours at the same time. Yep. So, getting your order wrong is going to really mess your results around. Not necessarily up. Mm, uh, definitely making the... Uh, this armor plate look a bit of a mess. It should be salvageable though. Really thin layers though. It's only a practice model anyway. Oh That's no. What these Craven Underworlds or whatever uh, edition is uh, are good for. You get some interesting figures. Yeah, they are very yeah, nice sculpts. Yeah. Well, it's three for about fifteen quid or something, isn't it? Yeah, fifteen twenty quid. So. You do get a, you do get your money's worth of decent model. I mean, they're full of character. So for our purposes, are uh, actually quite good. Uh, practicing new new method. Because yeah, the uh, the the model intrigues you enough and has enough on it to yeah. keep you motivated to paint it because it'll look good. But you're not, it's not a massive. It's not a massive loss if you muck it up. Yeah, you know I mean, plus there's always the Dettol or yeah. Clean it's Spirit the green or whatever it is you use, depending on where you are. Simple green. Sounds like a name of an orc. Yeah. Because war boss simple green. Big dunce hat on. Do we still do we still have the lucky stick? It seems like if you're gonna have a big war boss like simple green, you should have a lucky stick. Def- well, yeah, like he doesn't make any decisions. He just relies entirely on luck. Maybe he's got a goblin under his hat. We'll make all the decisions for him. That would be a cool model. A war boss with a, a grot on his head peering out from under the dunce hat. That could be a fun little model to make. Even though I've got none too bright. Proper not too bright. He should... Uh, you painted up any uh, Cromlex orcs? You know what? The Cromlex stuff do some really nice models. Yes, they do. But we've never really uh, looked into them, have we? I thought about purchasing them a while back because I do a lot of converting work and they do have a, a lot of good stuff for converting. Are they the guys that are all pirates? Yes, they have orc pirates, orc gas masks. They have all sorts of themes for the orcs. You got the gas masks from them, didn't you? I think I might have got the gas masks from them, actually. Yeah, Cromlex stuff is cast very nicely as well. Uh, it might be too much white on there. We'll see. Not enough purple. I'm going to pay more attention to the tip of my brush today, I think. We do tend to stick to Games Workshop models because it's the easiest ones for us to get hold of. Um, as there's a Games um, you know, the well, they're very easy ones for anyone to get hold of, really. Um, but we do um, binge around from time to time. I uh, painted a little bit of Infinity up a little while back. Uh, the some really cool models. What the, was that? That was the hounds, wasn't it? The werewolves, yeah. The werewolf hound guys. They were pretty cool. Yeah, the werewolves were great. What was that game? We went to Element Games for that games day. Drowned Earth or something. And they had... Um, was it Drowned Earth? I can't I was playing Guild Ball, wasn't I? 
You were playing Guild Ball and they had gorillas with uh, ah. miniguns. Yeah, and elephant dudes. Yeah, they seem like pretty cool models. Remember was that, uh, was it, it wasn't Jonah Hex, was it? It was the other guy. Jonah Hex. Um... That game that you played. Wait, I... Oh, that was really fun. What was it called? It was called... It reminds me of Van Helsing for some reason. Yeah, but it's not. It's, it's, it's James Purfoy was in it, in the film. You can tell he's definitely based on that character. Yeah. Um, I can't remember. It was Mythic Games that made it. Yeah. I spent ages editing that video and that escapes me. Um, really good four-player game. Um, it'll come back to me later in the stream. At some point, I will be uh, painting up um, some models by Ares Games, which um, are the ones that make Sword and Sorcery. Uh, so I'm looking forward to uh, player uh, like a hero quest type game, but with proper 80s style plotline. And Dick Gaston is your main villain. <laughs> they are. The, uh, and the, the way they um, rip off other companies completely unabashedly. Yeah, just not 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 caring at all. Yeah, just... uh, like orcs saying Loctara Garth, which is a massive nod to World of Warcraft. Yeah, uh, things like that. Um, I, I love it, and it's a lot of fun actually. The uh, storylines are cheesy but good. If you get what I mean. Playable, uh, just enjoyable. It's like when you get computer games, it's not all about the graphics; it's about the gameplay. So as long as the you get the entertainment you need out of it. Yeah, it's a it, it is a fun little game. Uh, we play uh, play that with a couple of friends, uh, and the models are lovely. They're actually really really nice. I don't think I've ever seen them. And we've got a, a multi-headed dragon as one of the bosses. Like a hydra. No, no. Or is it actually like, a dragon? More like Tiamat. I don't think I watched the cartoon. I watched the horrendous film that they brought out. They're bringing out another one. I can't wait. It's going to be really cheesy. We're just going to go watch that ironically. Well, it's got a good cast in it, bizarrely enough. But then again, so did the original. Uh, yeah, but it was... It was so... It oh, was... my... Talking of films, right? Nick Cage. We found a film yesterday. Is it The Burden of Being Awesome? Because I need to see that. No, it was something Wonderland. And he's basically fighting... Is fighting animatronic possessed like animatronics in a theme park. It sounds like Five Nights at Freddy's. It does it is like that, but it's clearly stole the plot line from Chucky. The other actors in it and actresses are really, really bad, and for the first part of the movie they have not given Nick Cage any lines whatsoever. <laughs> so, so they've <laughs> bought, bought this like decent actor. He has no lines, and there's just these really bad actors around him, like ham acting the whole thing. And it's just you got to watch it ir ironically. You know what I mean, and just take the take the piss out of it. I'm sure it's a proper Nick Cage film. Oh, yeah, he used to be great, Nick Cage. I we used to see, love his films. I want to see uh, the Burden of Being Awesome. It's got Pedro Pascal in it. I'm not seeing that one. I don't think. Uh, it's on Netflix. I think it is. Uh, I keep meaning to watch it because it's Nick Cage playing Nick Cage. Surely you can't fail at that one. No. Willy's Wonderland. Thank you. That's the one. So it does sound. It, uh, I saw a trailer for it. It looked absolutely brilliant. Um, and I think it's very much a bit of a joke film. It's yeah. Deliberately. Not to be taken seriously. Yeah. It's, it's meant to be some kind of comedy uh, where it sets itself um, as the joke. Yeah. I mean, it's all right if a movie can pull that off and not try and be too serious. Cause some movies just have to do that. Yeah. Because of the concept. Well, maybe Shark vs. Giant Octopus, which is an absolute ace film because it's so bad and the actors know it's bad. It has to be a special type of bad. Yeah, to be that right, good though. It is the right type of bad. I have to check that out. I like how this is a forty k stream. We're just sat talking about movies. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, there's only so much we can talk about. What computer games are you guys playing at the minute? 
uh, Dodgy was um, busy. Fall out, fall out of 76, as usual. Myself, I can't get enough of Crusader King 3. The, the stories you you have to tell about that are just... Yeah, but it gets very weird. It does. Um, so my character walked into his bedroom the other day and um, there was a naked guy in it. Uh, so obviously the notification came up and I was intrigued because there's a naked person in my character's bedroom. And he's busy defiling himself on, with all the holy material of the uh, books and that was set in like nine, the year 900. So yeah, people are seriously religious. And uh, my character had four choices, three of which were something along the lines of, what the hell are you doing? Get out of my room and why are you naked? And the other one was, ooh, interesting. I didn't know you could do that, which made me laugh. Yeah, that's, that's a much better option. <laughs> This technique really makes you look at your colours differently. Oh, wow. oh, slightly to the side. <laughs> like a dog looking at you while you're talking at it. Yeah, usually. You tilt the head. What you doing? That's a universal thing, the head tilt, though. You do it to people as well when they say something like a flat earther opens it, opens the mouth and you just tilt your head to the side and be like, huh? Eh? What 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 are you saying? Me no comprende. I think what's noble was doing a bit about that. It's like it's universal. It's like the first caveman ever. Him and his mate are out, and then they look, and it's like, what's that in the bushes? And That's one of the white, please. Thank yeah. You. Uh, what kind of white would you like? Either. I just want the white. Well, I've got three. Uh, I want just an actual white. Ah, uh, actual white. There you go. Like, yeah, what's noble's on about like. We, we all do that as like a, a processing thing. We tilt our head to the side, which means at some point the first caveman ever and his mate were out hunting and they saw something in the bushes, couldn't quite figure out what it was and did the head tilt and was like, eh? oh, it's a saber-toothed tiger. Off they pop. <laughs> He's an interesting boy, is he? Ross Noble, yeah. Not a full chilling at all. Yeah, he's got imagination for days, though. It's because he's off his head. Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure on what, but... I just think on reality. He's off his head on life. He's just gone my brain because he's had enough now. It's like, nope. He's, it's had enough because he's had to put up with Ross Noble all these years. Yeah. Notes out of there. It's like, nah. It's had enough. Yeah, I do love Ross Noble's stuff. It's a unique performance style as well. Uh, going back to the old habits. Bill Burr's a caveman really funny as well. Yeah. I like Bill Burr just because he's generally angry and everyone can relate to being angry at everything in the world. Just Nintendo, Switch, Zelda, other than that, work out and paint and minis until summer. Yeah, fair dues, mate. Can't argue with that. No, it sounds like someone's got summer plans as well. There's not really much to do during the winter and spring seasons. Well, in this country, you can wait 20 minutes to figure out what summer, what um, season you're going to have. Yeah. Oh, I mean, Jen and I walking through a hailstorm yesterday. Lovely. Yeah. Straight into it as well, so it's going right in your face. I was driving through that last night. Yeah. And then it was snowing. And then it was raining. And then it was lovely. Good old. And, and then the hour, uh, the hour changed, and it started again. That's random. Yeah, we went walked through a hailstorm for like five minutes. And it it left, and then it was bright and sunny again. It's a bloody country, mate. Oh, I can't seem to get this technique right now. Keep mucking it up. I have too much of one colour. Or oh, I'm just not spreading it properly. I need to let that set a bit before mucking around with it, I think. The layers are thin, but they're being blended on the model. It makes it super easy to uh, smudge the underneath ones or pull them off. Yeah, but it's really unforgiving. Yeah, because if the colours don't match up, you have to do that whole area again. Hoping to get it down to just a couple of 
a couple of the bits of paint, a couple of brush strokes, and have it finished. Yeah, but this technique is very difficult. When Try you get it, though, it's going to be some really interesting results. Yeah, I think so. It's uh, very different to how I used to paint. Give us some of that water and then gonna want white at the top. A little bit of that. Small amount of purple. Start from that mid tone and then hopefully blend upwards. If anyone's got any suggestions about uh, how to improve the streams, we're more than willing to uh, look at it because, uh, as we've already said, this is only day two, um, so any ideas are always uh, welcome because uh, we want to make this as enjoyable for everybody. Right. Hopefully, long term, we'll get a nice little community of people just hanging out painting. There's not really much else to do when you're painting except listen to stuff on YouTube. And me and Andy have been painting so long, pretty much watched everything of interest on YouTube. Yeah, and our playlist is really weird. We can't risk it half of the time. Yeah, it's very bizarre. Remember 99 Red Blues is German. Yeah, I don't know why that came up. Just one of those days, I guess. YouTube's algorithm's weird like that. That was bizarre. For saying that, that was also a Marvel which probably explains a lot. Yeah, a computer was a, a menace to society. I don't know how bo how both of its processes were running at different speeds. <laughs> yes, I forgot about that. <laughs> Whilst doing nothing. And, uh, doing nothing and somehow <laughs> still <laughs> vaguely functioning. Maybe I'm not putting enough of an actual white into these. It's still a little bit faded. With this technique, it's also getting the blend right so you get the same colour match as well. Yeah, but a little bit, uh, what I'm doing is a little bit more forgiving than that. The colour matches are what you don't want. Yeah. You pass over, I'll show everyone what you're painting. Yeah. Well, when you're not busy with it. Yeah. It's coming at well from what I can see from here. And it's currently working on a chest plate for good old Angron. The angry boy. Back in right. No worries. Yeah, I can't remember exactly what colours have been used here, but because it's such a large piece, a lot of the... Um, Armour has been done with an airbrush, but so it can then be picked out later on with a non-metallic kind of feel to it. That's sort of being achieved here. You know, that I think that'll look a lot better once these horns start getting picked out, as the eyes drawn right to the center. Right, see if I can get this small bit of armor fully painted in like a minute. All right, water down first. The raised area is in the middle. So, going to want to start with a tiny bit of white, a little bit of the pink. Ah, 
analysing evil. No, I've not uh, heard of that. Um, I take it they deal with uh, serial killer types. Been nosing through me um, get uh, some of the bits again, mm. and um, I'm getting the urge to start on that Legion of the Dam thing again. Yeah. Yeah, I was like. The Legion of the Dam models came out pretty well. They did. Um, the, the earlier ones better than the later ones because uh, the planes were better. I cheated on the later ones. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm not surprised. It took you a lot of time. You just tend to get bored. Yeah, I did. I mean, it's fine for that. I think we all do, mate, when you're doing the same thing on repeat. Yeah. Well, maybe. Uh, I'll pick up a, a squad of maybe heavy intercessors rather than the regular ones. Yeah. A little bit. Um, the gravity's armor looks kind of cool. You know, the big heavy armor. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. It's a bit like I'm doing with the elbow, you know, a nice slow grow army of something that looks a bit different. Well, I almost had it that time. <laughs> I'm okay with the smaller surfaces at the moment, so I guess I'll just learn from there um, till I get bigger surfaces sorted. There is some serious benefits to this type of paint technique, though. I don't have to sit here and then paint it, let it dry, wash it, let it dry, put another layer on. That side's not too great. Let's try the other one. Right. A little bit of white, a little color, a bit of pink. Oh, yeah, you're doing a purple colour, aren't you? Yeah. For no reason. Just... That's what you've got to do, isn't it? Uh, I've got another one down there with different colours I'll switch to later when I get a bit bored of this. Yeah, so something what I found a, a long time ago is if you're um, doing a lot of work on a, you know, a, a pride piece, shall we say, um... It's always useful to have a couple of other projects to just jump through. Yeah, because um, if you start getting bored on something you really want to um, do well. You're still going to muck it up like you, you would anything else that you yeah. have no interest in. So it's always good to ask. I'll have something else just to um, keep the interest firing. Because I like to have two or three um, projects on at once. And you still get bored easy yes. enough. So easily bored. Probably one of my worst traits. Not so bad if you put the model down though and jump to something else. No, it makes You it don't easy. spoil it from boredom. Yeah. It does make boredom less of an issue if you've got multiple, job, uh, multiple work uh, pieces on. I didn't come up the greatest that bit. But I've been doing this technique for four days, five days. If oh, that. Only a few days, yeah. Less than a week. Uh, this is my only my fourth attempt at non-metallics. My fourth proper attempt. I mean, I did try to do an army in non-metallic white, which went as... Um, well as well as you could have thought. Yeah, especially before, this was before I started. Maybe doing. maybe you could once you've got a knack of it. Mm. I mean, this was a long time ago, before I met you. Yeah. Um, so, I didn't have access to all the tools um, back then uh, to make my life easier, such as uh, airbrush or whatever you... Uh, yeah. 
had less experience, so I weren't painting as much. Yeah, I got tons of experience now. Yeah, exactly. So it's a much more feasible job. That's the probably one want to do it. You what? You're a glutton for punishment. So many armies I've seen you paint white. Yeah, uh, I'll tell you what, when I get the Bretonians, when the Bretonians come out, they are not being white, but I've already decided what I'm doing with them. Yeah, you say they're not being white they're today. Being, uh, well, you see, I'm not painting them as a, red, uh, as a unified army. Uh. I'm doing full heraldry on them. So they will be white, but it'll only be in sections. That makes sense. I want the knights to look like feudal knights. You painted some of those before, didn't you? See you later, dude. Catch you later, mate. I could just yeah. smoke break myself. Um, yeah, I've, I've uh, got a couple of Pegasus knights uh, already start uh, already done. Um, oh, the ones we got the video for where you did the checkers? Yeah. Yeah, those checkers came out really nice. Um, that's the sort of idea what I'm going with the for the army uh, when Old World comes out. That nah, should look good as a whole army. Yeah, it's. I mean, GW's done it on uh, some of their stuff, uh, and the provided you use similar colours throughout the units, the army looks really striking. Yeah, just those three that you did look pretty reasonable together. That's just on a squad of three, plus an entire army, as long as you're using the same four or five colours, yeah. just in different ways. It, it unifies it, um, so it looks like, you know, an army, but also the... It separates it enough, so it's not all one clump of the same colour. Yeah, it makes them look very feudal. Looks more natural then, I guess. Yeah, yeah, more authentic. And with the um, pre uh, the previews of the uh, Bretonian helmets what, uh, they released the other day, I'm really, really stoked. You need to show me those the other day on like Instagram or something. Yeah, um, I, I, I shared with it. Face yeah, I think I saw those. They do look good. Yeah, and then the they have the uh, Queen Kings. Uh, they're getting redone. Yeah. Yeah, their stuff looks really nice as well. That was always an army one. Uh, what interested me. That's that unique look, though, isn't it? Yeah, that sort of. Um, who doesn't like Egypt? You know, the the Egyptian theme is a very cool theme. And um, all your army being skeletons. <coughs> Yeah. I do like I do like painting bone. Bone's mm -hmm. always fun. And over an army it's very easy because you just like hit it with the airbrush, bit of dry brushing, boom, done. I think we've got six, seven different ways of painting different coloured bones as well. But with that type of army I would go for the standard sort of bleach yeah, bone yeah, uh, with a bit of colour to it. Bit of a a shabty bone sort of colour. And then using the armor plates and such as things look really draw the eye. Yeah. Really bright, vibrant turquoises or greens. Yeah. Traditional um, ancient Egypt style colours. So that's what you you know it's, uh, in artwork. That's how they're associated, isn't it? Really, these really vibrant. Well, blue for that time period represents. Royalty, um, and is it regal? It's sort of regal colour. Because it's harder to make than all the other colours back then. I can't remember what I watched that on. Either. Because you'd need blue to make purple. Not enough blueberries. Blackberries, even. Mm. 
No, we have to use um, to make a purple dye. We use uh, Chris Bacon. Did we? Yeah. Can only find them in one place. Ah. Uh, Not in New Zealand. Well, hence the rarity, and then hence the value. Looking forward to getting you all the cameras set up so people can switch from one to the other. Yeah. That way we can cover both desks for that. I'm going to go for a smoke break, guys. Uh, stick a sign down saying back in five minutes. <laughs> I haven't made a sign yet. <laughs> oh, what do you reckon? Working on that left leg, haven't you? As I look at it, yeah, on the other shoulder pad, he's bringing that back out. I'm not getting the technique the way I want it, though. I don't know, but that left leg's looking really good, especially that mm. middle plate. Oh, that was a bit I got to go spot on straight yeah. away. Um, the lower plate, you mean that one? That I managed to get down in one, yeah, and then I've not been able to do it again since. <laughs> Difficult. Typical, we'll get, we'll get another viewer, you can chat to them while well, I'm off for a smoke break. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, uh, as you can see, Dodge has nipped out, um, so you stuck with my voice. Uh, in time, we will have an, another camera, so you'll be able to hop between the two of us. Uh, but for the short term, um, we've only got the one uh, set up at the minute. Just, um, this is only our second day uh, live streaming, so all very early days for us. Um, we've got plenty of cameras and things, we just need to get an understanding on the um, live streaming sort of setup, because uh, we don't know much about it. Um, so we're just sort of learning as we go. Uh, if you know what we mean. Uh, hopefully, uh, well, hopefully the camera stand will arrive, my camera stand will arrive tonight at some point. Um, so, with a little look, uh, tomorrow I'll be on uh, camera, uh, but maybe next week. As it stands, we've got Dodge there, he's uh, working on a uh, load of bush technique. Um, he's trying to figure out how to get that right. Uh, I'm playing around with non-metallic metals. Um, and I'm dumb enough to uh, do Angron uh, in non-metallics. Um, because, you know, why keep it easy? Keep it on a small scale there. But I do have other bits and pieces to play on what I'm doing. I'm working on a Day of the Dead style Eldar bike army. Um, loads of freehand work. I'm also uh, um, got my Night Lords, what I'm always working on as well. So, welcome new guys to the chat. Um, Dodge is currently a, um, AFK. Uh, and we'll be back shortly.
cheeky smoke break. <laughs> Sure, this book has some importance. Probably not much to take off the world or something to tell about that. Probably. We took over the world, mate. There'd be trouble. Then you just get beaten. Then again, it's Earth. Things are already weird. Yeah, true. Weird enough without us getting involved. Right, apply the water. What? And figure out what color I actually need. Right, take a tiny bit of that white and the purple again. Yeah, I'll have a look in a sec. That's too much white. It's coming up nice, that. What colour are you going to do with these curved horns? No, <laughs> uh, I was thinking maybe black. Hmm. Go for uh, black bone rather than traditional sort of bone. You bone. could do them in the same theme and make them all one piece of the armour rather than breaking them up. Because I think it would carry on well. Dark, the centre of this is so bright the the dark colours won't stand out at all. The, the eyes drawn right to the middle but what, once you start doing those I reckon it'll uh, really start popping out I just gotta figure out what like say what color to do the bone work could do cold bone put some green in there it contrast well If only I actually um, recorded what I actually use for that. That would have been useful. I'm sure you can make it back up. And down to the dark colour. Nope, too much. It's probably written on a notebook somewhere. I think even back. Or just labelled wrong. Yeah. Right. I want to shade that a little bit more. So what colour do I want to start with? Because I want to paint from here down to there. So I'm going to start with that little bit of purple. No, it should be green. Slowly get in the knack of this. Green will be the undercolor that I'm going to shade to. A little bit of purple over the top of it. Oh, a bit off camera there. Um, then start shading the purple in there to the green down here. Clean the brush off and then blend all that in. And that would be again a uh, bright color so i'm gonna need a bit of the off white with a little bit of purple start the purple around there until we get to the off white on the underneath of the brush but again i put too much purple on very purple. it's easy to get too much paint on your brush for this technique Could be a problem mixing the colours just wrong on the model. Yeah. This smudge so easy. It's a bit quiet in here at the moment. We've got two viewers, no one's saying anything. We like it when they say things, it gives us something to talk about. Yeah. 
if, if the quality is not up to scratch for those that have just joined us it's because we've only been live streaming two days this is our second attempt at live streaming and emphasis on the word attempt yep we don't really know what we're doing but it's just another thing we're gonna have to learn A little bit more purple. And that purple to the green for the shade. That purple background. And purple, a tiny bit of pink. I also noticed doing this where you get little uh, puncture marks in your paint on the palette where you've got bits of white where you've just touched the paint ever so slightly it might also be one of the reasons my paints are mixing not the way I would like them to I don't think I see that on the live stream but the purple's got those little specks of white in it Pink, off white. We will have to figure out the copyright thing when it comes to music, so we can have background sound. Yeah. I also thought about that. There's nothing stopping you plugging your phone in with a one-piece headset in and just listening to music while you paint. That would be an option. It's something I was thinking about the other day. That way the microphone won't pick it up, but you can still listen to random stuff. In fact, if we both did that, we could click a YouTube video and listen to a random documentary while, um, while painting. It would give us something more to talk about. It's not as smooth as I'd like it. Such an awkward technique. Yeah, it's in there. It's the concentration that starts to make it more and more um, tedious. But it's the same reason I'm determined to stick to it. Once I've got the technique mastered, it should be a relatively simple. Uh, so put the tiny bit of white on the underneath. A little bit of pink. Pink. Um, fade up to white. And a little bit of actual white over the top of all that. You get a much better result when you're fully concentrate and dedicate to what you're doing, but it takes such concentration. <clears throat> Let me put me a paintbrush in me coffee. It's probably just like, you know, the dregs. Oh, 
Now, at that time, it worked pretty well. Hit and miss at the moment. But when it does work, that armor plate immediately pops now and is almost finished. Put a bit of shade in there. I guess with this, it's more of a case of really think about what goal you're trying to achieve and what order to apply the paint to achieve it. Whereas the games workshop, it's just this step, that step, that step. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with uh, the layering system. The layering system works fine. And you can get some really good results. Yep. It's more, it will be more time consuming, which is one thing I'm trying to save on. Tiny bit of that green, blend that in there. And pull it into the shaded area. Almost finished that corner with the green. Oh, yeah, went, went and overdid it, didn't I? <laughs> Spoke too soon. Yeah, finished that bit of armor. Boom, nope. Uh, no. Well, I'm quite happy with that result on there. Maybe just gotta let it dry a little bit. Yeah, that's starting to look a little bit more striking. Yeah, check that. I need to remember to soap my brushes as well. <laughs> yeah, it's the uh, left palm. On the, left, on, the left, on the left leg. Just the big one on the left, uh, his left leg. Ah, oh, this one. Yeah. Bringing it up so it matches the uh, other brighter highlights. Yeah, I can see that being really complicated, getting that colour match right. But I say complicated, it's not a complicated technique, is it? Mm. No. It's just really, it's difficult. It's not com It's not complicated as far as... Just, the, the, the What to do, yeah. it's... Doing it. Yeah, yeah, that's the, that's the thing, that's the trick. And we have yet another viewer. Welcome How's it to going? us, guys. Welcome to us. Welcome to a day in the studio where me and Andy sit and paint random stuff all day. And talk crap. If you could get awards for that. Gold medalists. Aye. Put it up there next to the Golden Demons. Crap talking awards, golden demons. I know, obviously, all your wooden spoons. Yay, don't diss the spoons. You've got a nice collection of wooden spoons. Mate, I've got my collection's lucky numbers compared to one of the uh, one of the guys at my club. He's really not doing well. Didn't you say he, like, oh, was it? He, oh, was that? Oh, no, he lost so bad he, he failed to achieve the wooden spoon. Yeah. That's an achievement. Lost every game. Every Didn't single one. Didn't get it. That's terrible. Yeah, Sh is that crap? He can't even come last. That's an achievement, really. There should definitely be some form of award for that. When you get to that point where you're looking at getting a spoon, you want to get the spoon. You, know. you may as well. Yeah. I, it's a free spoon. Yeah. 
but one of the guys he's got three or four spoons. There is no spoon. <laughs> no, that, that, that I had to say that I just couldn't help myself. He, he's got them all, that's why. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, he doesn't have a good tournament record. But he doesn't take it serious, so it doesn't matter. Well, that's really about having the fun. Yeah. And some, I mean, if your idea of fun is going and destroying the tournament with a really good army, then props to you, you go do that. Yeah. I just want to play different people, but I don't get to play every week. With different army lists? Yeah. How am I going to achieve this colour? Uh, which is why I guess. I enjoy, I enjoy the competitive aspect. But I'm not a competitive player. But it's friendly competition for you, it's not. Yeah. It's, um, obviously, I do things my own way, so I don't use the mess. So. Except that time you accidentally did, but that's because they changed all the rules, so it just ended up that way. Yeah. So that's, oh, look, I'm using a meta thing. That's new. <laughs> you, using an army that might actually win something. Uh, then I got involved in it. Yeah, sounds about right. No danger of army. Yeah, a little bit more of that purple. Bring the dark colour down. Blend there. Aha! It's the second time in a row I've got it right. And then the dark purple into blue, a green even. And I put that on the brush the wrong way around. Uh, well, I got a bit overconfident there. I've got a couple of tournaments coming up as well. Um, got one at the end of the month. Which one's that? I'll be at, uh, I'll be in Sheffield. Uh, local RTC. I've got them. We have them there every month. I, tend, I try to get my sort of things there every two weeks. And uh, my local club's got one next month. Nice. And what are you taking? I'm taking my horse. I'm doing things badly. Sounds like Night Lords. <laughs> yeah. Well, not necessarily Night Lords, just me playing them. Oh, this technique. Yeah, it's a lot of work. Currently, it's a lot of work. I might switch up and paint something else in a bit if you guys want to see something else get painted. I've been sat painting this for about an hour. I'm not trying to finish the paint project, though. I'm just trying... New techniques out. Yeah, it always pays to learn some new techniques. Yeah, I was painting this guy as well. I was kind of happy with the blues and greens. Not happy with the leather strap. I don't like the style on it. And the metallics, they're not too bad currently. But it's being painted using the same technique as the purple model that I'm using. Fun little models, these. They're nice. They are. Yeah, I might put him down for a bit and just put some greens in my palette. All right. Hold your uh, blue, scale 75. Fet Jade, I think that's an art, it's rubbed off a little bit. And the brighter colour was Caribbean Blue. Something I've noticed I've not been doing is watering down these second colours. Might explain why I was mucking up so much. What colours on your pinky purple, do you think? Uh, here's a pinky purple. That's what I want. That about do actually for me first layer. Just a 
They are the dead again. Well, yeah, just to make you know. Uh, the seven dead sort. Not very good choice, though. Uh, which one's this, the jet bike? Yeah, the bike, yes. I was having a bit of a think to myself the other day. I was like, yeah, <laughs> um, you know, I was on about the weird Slanesh army. Mm. And then at one point, you're on about, I could do clowns. I do like painting clown stuff. And then I start thinking about it. But you know when you don't just think of an idea, you visualize the whole model. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I visualize these really cool ogre-looking clowns with spiral patterns and stuff on their armor plate. But yeah. then, like, modified so they've got clown noses and hair and top hats, but, like, in a sort of dark carnival style. But, like, the weapons with bones and spikes and stuff on them. Um, it's something really fun that wouldn't take long to convert at all. It's just, like, a bit of armor here, bit of hair there. And then, I mean, the, the ogres have got a nice scale and a lot of detail to the face, which... It would be a lot of fun to actually see if I could paint the uh, clown paint directly onto the model. So it's kind of a freehand. Yeah, I think you could. It's freehand, but you're using the uh, the shape of the faces. Yeah. So essentially you're painting the face differently. I just thought they'd look really cool as a unit. I, I agree. Maybe even extend them uh, green stuff, their trousers, so the trousers look more baggy, like the big baggy clown pants. You're going down a rabbit hole of converting again. Yeah. But that that should really not take long. It's just something I want you to avoid. <laughs> well, if the live stream takes off, I could just sit here converting them on live stream, rather than the stress we used to have of like I need to get this video finished. Right, is that a leather strap or a fold of flab? You can never tell with Nurgle. Make sure that surface is nice and wet. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Andy. Um, right, that'll be the hot spot. So start with a little bit of cream and a little bit of the light blue. Shade from the middle. Top. That didn't work. Uh, put too much paint on. And the dark blue. Blend that. Nope, oh, not my camera. Oh, if it wasn't for that being, the consistency being off, that would have just been done. Like, almost perfect. I was really chuffed with that, but these things happen. Yeah, that would have been that piece almost finished. Yeah, check that one out. Nearly got that back fat in one hit. The colours are a little bright compared to the dark colour. I'm starting to see why Buddha Payton's using a lighter grey. I will master this technique. It's just going to take a while. I've got the determination for it. I'm not just going to be like, I'm done with that now. And if it's a skill I want, it's one I'm going to have to work for. This technique's definitely worth working on. Alright, so the white will go to that bit there. Just a bit of the white. And a little bit of the blue. Mid tone blue. And that should just get lighter as I progress.
hold that down. And the live stream is dead. Oh well, it just keeps it running. Yeah, yeah. It'll come again. Yeah, it does that. It is a lot nicer when we get people communicating on the live stream, though. It just gives us something to talk yeah, yeah. about. Oh, I shouldn't have gone in there with the music on because now I've got music stuck in my head because we're sat in silence. I will have to Google the copyright thing. Then again, there's Twitch and YouTube. I bet they've both got different rules. Yeah, it's a bit of an odd one, isn't it? Because we're not doing it to entertain them, we're doing it to entertain us. And yeah, pretty much. I don't think anyone else would know that. They expect us to be entertaining them. It's like, no, we get really bored sat in the studio. Mm. And it's why people hang out to paint models, really. If you're not overly concentrating on something that you're painting, it becomes like meditation because it's a simple, repetitive action. Your mind just wanders off. Right, so that will be dark. This bit here will be light. So I need to start around here with that mid shade. So I get a little bit of the white on there. Then the other blue. I still think I'm putting too much white on that bit of the brush. And the dark colour, bring that further to the bottom, and then a little bit of that blue. That's what I've forgotten I was doing. It needs arbuckle brown, that's what it's missing. To uh, tone those blues back to the pinky flesh tone that it needs. Just completely forgot about it. Yep, I messed that one up. Well, yeah, it's only thin paint. And if you don't like it, you can just pull all of it across the model so it becomes a very thin layer and just let it dry. It's gutting though, because you get it right, you actually get it right, and then you go to do another piece and then just completely muck it up. <sighs> right, the colour I was missing. Oh, I'll look up brown. Which I thought was a really nice blend for the uh, two colours. It's a nice little colour, I'll look up brown, actually. You could do a lot with it. Mm -hmm. Sort of, it, it's one thinking, thinking it, it's a sort of reddy brown, isn't it? Yeah, but it's also really good for doing flesh. Alright, so, a little bit of arbuckle brown. Arbuckle brown, and then a little bit of the green. OK, 
get that in there. Yeah, we keep having people pop in and out. That's to be expected. Yeah, it's good to see about people actually checking us out though. I mean, yeah. We've got one on at the minute. Yeah, I'm assuming that's our gen, keeping an eye on the quality of the video. Uh, we're not even advertising the fact that we're doing it. We're just, sort of we're just doing it. I will start doing that though soon. Stuck on the Especially when the other setup's done. Yeah, we uh, go on, stuck on Facebook and stuff saying, Yeah. Live streaming, these times. Yeah, some of the guys from Discord were sharing that as well. You know, sharing that we were live streaming. Hi. Well, when he's cooking his tea. Why not? What is it you're trying to do? Um, it's just checking the files are actually done the same way. Ah. Uh. That is not the loaded, uh, that's not the loaded bush technique at all, Dodge. It's terrible. It's making a mess of that bit. It's the loaded mess technique. I invented it myself. Yeah. Just walking around Games Workshop, painting tables, watching all the noobs mess up and be like, yeah, that's a loaded Dodge technique, that. Loaded mess technique even. Invented by yours truly. Just taking credit for all these really badly painted models. Right, our buckle brown. Try and blend that a little bit. At least that's blending now. Then I love going into a place like Google and actually digging up uh, the guys that fund us. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing, because the staff's all got different skill sets, so sometimes you go in and whoever's running the shop really knows how to paint, and then sometimes you just get your mediocre painters instead. Yeah. We'll know the basics. Yeah. Uh, that kind of blended okay. A little bit more of the dark green in there. And mix that in to the arbuckle. The technique doesn't work the same on flesh, as far as I can tell. They might not be a good one for flesh. Mm, because flesh needs to have a be much smoother. And it's the roundness of it. Armor plating I can seem to get with this technique. Yeah, well that's pretty much that back fat done. Didn't take too long. It's not the neatest, but that'll come over time. Yeah, feel free to hit us up in the comments, guys. Uh, gives me and Andy something to actually start talking about. Rather than what we've been up to for the last couple of days. Yeah, because me and Andy already know what we've been up, for the pa up to for the past couple of days. Yeah, I sent Dylan um, shopping for Mother's Day uh, today. Oh, yeah, when's that? That's on Sunday ah. uh, in the UK. Um, yeah, I gave him a few quid from uh, work last night. Yeah. Um, told him, get what he wants for his man and whatever's left is his key. Yeah. Trying to figure out whether that was sound advice or not. Yeah. What can you get for 15 quid nowadays? Exactly, yeah. Like a new lighter. He's 
Quite thoughtful. We actually gave him some credit on that. Yeah. I think, I think last time it was Mother's Day, he was saying he actually saved up his own cash. Or no, he'd been known to, yeah. Um, yeah, also a reminder to anyone out there on the live stream, it's Mother's Day soon. Um, so he's gone off with his mates into uh, a little shopping centre and watched film. Yeah. Uh, and he's got the last match of the season at the end of the week. Oh, cool. Which means I get the rest of the year off until uh, until summer holidays. I'm going to start doing tournaments. Oh, that'd be fun for you. It's Driving fun. around again. No, no, the tournament's usually just over a day. All oh, right. So, right. so then we're going to use the light blue. And a little bit of the medium blue. But the team's starting to pull it out, uh, pull it together and together. Yeah. It's starting to get some results now. And the, uh, his school team won. I uh, didn't. Uh, ne I never mentioned it the other day. So I didn't. Huh. So we were playing. He played for his school team on Monday. Nice to see him getting some more wins. His school team's undefeated. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Doing good. That's that was very good. Won every game. The second in league because not play, uh, the other team played small. Yeah, and that's the only reason. Yeah. And then. I'm going to try and pull those colours together. I'm blending them on the model. Try and give a more natural look. Natural? Well, na well, as natural as Nurgle can be, really. Show me on the Nurgling. <laughs> Show me on the Nurgling where Papa Nurgle touched you. Show me on the Nurgling where Slanesh touched you. It probably would be Slanesh, though, wouldn't it? That's a weird sexual fetish, even by some actual standards. <laughs> uh, okay, now. Should probably lay off the swearing so much on the live stream. But, uh, oh well. We do try not to swear in it. Yeah, but I use curses like punctuation. Well. Speak for yourself. You're not perfect. Yeah, there's no such thing anyway. I don't know, I'm, da I'm damn close. <laughs> it's New York, isn't it? A land of gravy. New Yorkshire pudding. That can't be a good old Yorkshire pudding. It's not going on now. Right, that's definitely a, a fat fold and not a part of the strap. Fair enough. <laughs> that's something random I heard. Yeah, I was yammering away to myself trying to figure out how to do these techniques on flesh. Seems tedious, but I reckon if I was doing this the old way, I'd, it'd take me even longer. That'd dry off a bit. Yeah, uh, I think you'd be a lot quicker. Actually. Yeah, that's a fair point. But if that is the only reason, I should surely be able to get this to go right at some point. All right. Dark blue. Maybe I'll start with a light colour and then shade down. I tend to be better at that. For the cone heads. Mm -hmm. White is just a horrible colour to paint. Yeah, so why I've chosen sort of a bony white to, for the armour, I have no idea. Because you just like to punish yourself. Mate, I must hate myself. I really must. Subconsciously. A little bit of arbuckle brown. Is that Andy? Yeah, it is. Well, that's you you're talking about, you played. Yep. You were talking in third person, though. Does it count? I think what we're talking about. 
Fit later. <laughs> That broke the ninth wall. Now it's going to get well too complicated. I can't keep up with the ninth, ninth wall. Fourth is bad enough. There's enough dimensions already. We don't need you coming in, making new ones. <laughs> yeah. Coming in. Not, to, not stealing your jobs, but making new dimensions. Yeah, cheers for that. He may go back to us, didn't he? That'll be what? Yes, that's to be picked up on Saturday. Yeah, it was just a technical error on my phone because I was waiting for the message. Yeah, yeah. And then I ended up going into uh, Facebook on my phone and it was saying the messenger wasn't available or whatever. So I think didn't you drop him a message? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what just started back up again was you started a message and then it's just that fixed itself here. Yeah. I'm always there on it anyway, I'm not having a grab that issue. Yeah. Have a minute and check out that flab. <laughs> strange statement in itself. It's not that strange of a statement. I mean, it's a Nurgle and there's gonna it's a Nurgle model, there's gonna be fat. I know it's just it, when you you know, if somebody just bimbled in for that sort of moment, it's like what? <laughs> <laughs> this viewer just comes in, it's like check out the fat on this. No, the best ways are horrible. I don't think there's enough colour in it as of yet because the dark colour underneath is still showing up too much. So I'm not 100% happy with it. Oh, come on. That's what she said. Oh. Yep, I went there. So did she. That nah, was the cameras. The cameras caused the problem. All right, a little bit of fade back down to the dark green. Oh, you know the um, question we had about um, is having sex with a dead body rape or not? Mm -hmm. We now, uh, I now have an answer whether it's illegal or not. Yeah. So this lady got herself pregnant on the body she was meant to be um, doing the autopsy on. Right. And she's been arrested. Okay. <laughs> it's a strange world we live in. <laughs> the fact that that's even a sentence. Yeah. People are people, man. I don't know how she managed to get pregnant to a dead body, though. She worked her magic there, didn't she? She did. You bought me for bait and you didn't tell me about it. Did I? Yeah. Go me. I don't remember. <laughs> you did a thing. Hey, was it a positive thing for once? It was helpful. Oh, bloody hell. I need to pack that in. <laughs> People expect more from me. I can't remember where I saw it, but yeah, I saw the article. I was like, oh, well, that's weird. <laughs> um, in multiple ways. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Yeah, still working on these blues. She has the blues. I have the blues. Well, technically the green. It's the turquoise, but... Yeah. But I don't know. You just start humming random blues music in the background. Yes, I do. Take it away, Andy. Take it away. Suddenly burst out like a pocket-sized blues band. 
could do that if Bobber was. Batman, I choose you. You could do that if 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 Bobber was were real. You just collect them up and let them play little you know, little bands and pull them out of a matchbox. Fancy some blue today? Get on it. Yeah, they called them the Bobbers, but they never returned nothing. Yeah. Well, calling them shoplifters is a bit, <laughs> a bit harsh, really, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. We only borrow it, but you never give out back. <laughs> well, technically, it didn't leave your house. It's just under the floorboards. Oh, I ended up talking about the te the technical, uh, the law and the rules of borrowers. I do not know. He was a mad genius, though. Yeah. Yoga wrote it. Did he? Yeah, did I didn't know he wrote what the Bobber was. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think Terry Pratchett and Bobber was. I can Google that. I'm sure it was it's Terry Pratchett. He probably thought he had Bobber was in his house and was like, yeah, write a story about it. <laughs> it's not stories, it's a diary. I'm telling you, <laughs> Terry Pratchett was high. The other thing I'm trying to get used to with this paint technique is because the paint is so wet, it looks really vibrant. Um, Makes a massive difference when it dries, though. I regret going for that smoke break now because I've got bowling for soups stuck in my head and it won't go away. Ah, I know what that is. Bobbleworths. It's so old we are. No one else knows what the. Not even Google knows what the Bobbleworths are. No, I wasn't. I was typing it in, but not into uh, Google. Ah. Uh. called Mary Norton. I always thought it was uh, Terry Pratchett. I can see why you'd think that because when you said it I thought it was believable. What else did she write? Bed Nobs and Brucey. Classic film. I don't care what anyone says that film's a classic. And not the... Not, I not, know why I thought it was the borrowers who wrote it because the same artist um, did the front cover of the version I did. Terry Pratchett's art. Ah, that makes sense. As, as to why you get that mixed up. Then a little bit of our buckle brown into that fold there. And then blend that brown. It sort of mutes those greens, gives it a bit more of a curve. Well, hey. That was pretty accurate. I'm quite happy with that one.
That was almost in one move. I do think the undercoat is too dark though. For certain colour types, they're just not showing up. So I'm going from dark to what should be a mid-tone, but the mid-tone's ending up darker than the rest of it. I could, I'll probably start using a, uh, a lighter grey to paint these eventually. I'm glad that small clip that you played had background music. I know what the background music was as well. It's a French composer. Uh, they used that music on the This Is England series. And the films. Really good composer. That confused the guy at the train station. One of the train stations me and Jen went to, there's a big classic piano. And some guy's just playing it. Uh, me and Jen are just buzzing over the fact that he's playing the uh, Ludovic whatever, you know, the tunes that we know. Well, to everyone else, we're, we're punk as hell, you know what I mean? And there's just two punks just proper loving the classical music on that. Completely break the stereotype. What are you reading? Oh, I just saw a meme about um, the differences between Japanese and American MMAs. Yeah. Yeah. And one's got more tentacles than the other one, usually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure if that back fat's looking complete yet. Why is it looking from there? Because all the highlights are showing up from a distance, which is a shame. Bit more water. Go back over just to make the surface wet. Oh, I've had another viewer pop in. All right there, mate. So what are you collecting or painting? Or both. Both is good. <laughs> A little bit of the light blue. Tiny bit of the off-white. Then bring in the off-white at the top. Blend that out. Add a little bit of the dark green. Blend those edges a little bit more of the what's it called? The only one that's actually an off colour for this. Arbuckle brown, that's the one. brown dark green 
blend that back in there. Push the bright colour back up to the top. Right. Tiny bit of arbuckle brown. Oh, I've got my camera again. And a little bit of a dark Haldal blue, I think it is. Hold your blue. Paint those in. brown into that blue but I think that's mucked that up not left it to dry for long enough not sure how I'm going to do the intestines for this either Brace yourself, world. Andy's got an idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the, um, you know, them horns what are going around the, the centre of his torso. Yeah. I'll start them off. Um, no, I'll paint them off in a, a bone colour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to blend it into the armour colour. Yeah, that makes sense. Right. Um, I don't know what colour to do for his boots or anything. Just trying to focus on this skin so I can get it just right. So blend it into the gold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes sense because it kind of does that on the model itself, you know, with the sculpt. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So sort of go with it, but make it different. Yeah, because I think if you just did it block with a hard edge, it'd look a little bit weird. Yeah. But it also makes it different to the armour itself. Because otherwise it'd just be dull. So it'd be really boring. Yeah. And no depth. I don't know what colour to use. Luminescent. Luminescent. I haven't found an opportunity to use that yet. That means you don't like him sometimes. Right. Look at the pink tank. If I did this clown army though, that'd be funny. Luminous, all the luminous colours. Yeah, it's going to be funny. It's a clown army. I'm just going to pretend you didn't say that. I'm just going to take myself out back and shoot myself, I think. <laughs> <laughs> take myself out back at chemical sheds to put a bullet in me. It's not like we're live streaming, no one will see that. 1942 calls. We want you back at Auschwitz. <laughs> uh. Right, so. It's got a very weird turkey neck, this guy. It's a nice touch, I can put stuff like that in there. You know what I mean? Mm. It's different, isn't it? Aye. In the moment, I'm trying to figure out where the highlight would be on this. Is 
It's like he's wearing a polo neck made of human flesh. Blue, it? Yeah. Oh, is it in season or something, please? Nightclub, didn't it? Oh. <laughs> made out of human flesh. Ah. His own. Yeah, I'm with you now. I think it's his own. It's hard to tell with Nurgle models what's supposed to be what. Although that does leave it open to interpretation, you can paint how you would like it to be. Add a bit more reddish to that blue tone. Um, yeah, completely missed there. Yeah, my blends are still hit or miss. It feels like a hit or miss thing as well. Like, it's spot on or not. Yeah. Definitely need that to be a little bit lighter. And that light colour needs to come down a little bit further, so. Light blue. A little bit of the white. And then blend that in with a little bit of the darker green. Like the brush direction is really important with this. You know, the, the way you pull and blend it. Doesn't look very smooth. I'll have to smooth it out with something else. What was it? If the, if the model was this scale unreal. I wonder what would happen if you just roll, if it, like, um, roll over him with a rolling pin. Because he's Nurgle, he'd probably pop and smell like a really stale fart. Mm. You know, like a little flat Nurgle coin. I reckon he'd have the same thickness as the base as well. We never did make that Indian in the Cupboard series. That was a fun idea. Do you want an Indian in the cupboard or just the cupboard? Well, as long as no, because you'd put your you'd put your night lords in it and then. Yeah. Go wrong. yeah. Let's get anger on in there first and just say right. Anything what comes out of that without my permission, just kill it. <laughs> well, what makes you think Angron would listen to you in this scenario? Think of it. In. That that's not going to stop Angron really. No, it's probably not. 
they just get really angry at your toes. <laughs> I'd be wearing steel toe caps if I were you. It was an interesting idea for a series, though. Maybe we can still work it around our live chats when we get them going properly. Death got a bit worse because you want to wield bioweapons. No, you would actually catch the diseases because for the video, the theory was that if you um, put them in, they obey their own law. So that way you would bring all the viruses from the 40k universe into this universe. Into your bedroom. Into your bedroom and you'd have lots of tiny disease-ridden things running around. Cool. No. You wake up and your leg's gone gangrenous and grown some eyes. Like, why is my leg looking back at me? My dog turned into a chaos form. Oh, it could as well, though. If you, if you cross the law with this reality, there's no reason it couldn't. I don't think your dog would notice. It is a lovely dog, though. It's just not much of a dog. No, no. It's more of a walking table. Cat stayed up with me last night. So the cat does what your dog's supposed to do. Yeah. You're a weird cat. And then again, it lives with a weird dog. It's probably sending it mad. <laughs> it's like, what do I do? <laughs> but yeah, uh, so the cat starts, um, you don't normally do it. You normally sort of guard Sarah. Mm. But um, yeah, uh, and I did turn that correctly. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering. I was definitely wondering about that. Um, I'm sure that's the job of the dog. Stays up waiting for me. Yeah. When, I, uh, when I'm working late. But um, the cat did as well last night. Guess they all stay up together. Usually, no. No? No, no. Normally, it's just one of them. It's a uh, cat decided he wanted to stay up late for me. I think mainly it's just because of the amount of other chance of me getting some food. Ah, because you've been doing takeaways. That or dreamies. Yeah. You know the advert where the cat would jump through walls to get to the dreamies? No. Well, it's accurate, mate. Yeah? Yeah. They put in the, like... I don't know, cocaine, maybe? Yeah, we're going to say something. Like, cat cocaine. And then going back round with the arbuckle brown. I'm trying to blend that back in so it's got a bit more of a red hue to it. Some of this is getting very messy now. I'm not happy with that. But I'm starting to learn how to use this and I'm accidentally putting texture into it, so that's something that I, I try and pay attention to for a later date. Just painting texture on or something would be handy, especially for cloaks. Definitely can do it for your book. Yeah, instead of my accidental blending. It's like, yeah, yeah, I've done, a, I've done a cool thing. How do you do it? I mm, don't know. I'm not sure. Let's screw something up. I think that's how the human race learn a lot of stuff. Mucking up and be like, oh, well, if I do this, this happens. Either do it again because it was useful, or don't do it again because it was really unpleasant. Sounds like the human race. Oh, 
Oh, that was really unpleasant. Do it again anyway. Imagine that. Ragnarok goes off. We're all about to restart everything. And the gods are like, do you guys want to restart? And we're like, nah, we're, we're all done, mate. We're done. We're good. We're, we're good. good. We, don't want to, we don't want another run. It's a good one. It was a good one. Let's all just go to bed. Right, so. A little bit of that blue. Step away from restart. Uh, there's a good chance that's how it works as well. Yeah, it's a very vibrant green. So. Really quiet on the stream today. Yeah. Not surprised though, I've only been doing this two days. Yeah. Well, we can always do like, if uh, we don't get anyone in the next hour or so, turn it off, put some shoes on. Yeah, it could do. Got a lot more work to do with this live stream anyway, more figuring out to do. Right, dark blue. We got up to five again. Yeah. I mean, that was interesting the first time we uh, put that on. We actually got up to five people watching, which was surprising considering we didn't advertise anything or. No, we just. Bunged it on. We, I mean, again, we haven't advertised anything. We just put it on. The only advertising we've done is by telling people who were already watching. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, it's been a great success. Yep. For us, though, we don't need much to have a great success. We just need to not bugger up. Yeah, we need to not go peak tong straight away. That's an achievement. <laughs> so we'll take it, we'll take it. We're not picky. How's that looking from there? That's much better. All right. Still painting this guy's turkey neck. It's not easy to paint either with the head on. No, He's got horns on the helmet that just get in the way. <laughs> I'm looking forward to painting the fucking back plate. Yeah. On oh yeah, that's gonna be loads of fun. Was there no way of like keeping the wings off? Um. Because it looks like that's gonna be a lot of work. Yeah, uh, I think it is. Uh, I think it might have been, but it's just one of them. It's like it's such an awkward model to build. You didn't want any gaps in it either. Yeah. A little bit of that. Medium blue, which should, yeah, I think my brain's just starting to pick up what I'm doing, or how I'm supposed to be doing it without me thinking too much, so obviously that's going to be a medium blue, I find myself speaking it out as well, you know, so step by step, so I know what I'm doing. Well, that's good for um, you, it's good for me, it's also good for the stream, because uh, well, I went straight from that tone, not to the darker tone. I don't think I needed that, to be honest. It's just there for when I really want to bring something down. And I'm going to feather back and forth on that. It's not going. Nope. You're not having it. 
There we go. All right, I'm getting a knack of this, I think. Well, when I finally get the knack of this and I'm happy with it, you'll see me jump up and scream Eureka or some something. Because I'll be happy with the results I'm getting and how quick I'm able to paint. Because for me, the time is one of the major reasons for doing this. Um, well, you've seen how long I spend painting compared to how long you would spend painting you know, on a tutorial. Um, I was always a slow painter. All right, there, guys. Currently mucking around with the loaded brush technique. And non-metal uh, metals. And and is doing non-metallic on Angron because he hates himself so much. That works though, yeah. That definitely works. You can see you tidy up that blend between the dark and the light on the boat on the horns. Yeah, I would paint those gaps in personally rather than wash. Yeah. I'm not. I'm a clean brush. Right? Yeah. These, I would paint those. In, uh, these. I would paint those in, right? Using, I kind of know what I've learned from this technique, right? In here is going to be the shaded one. Yeah. So, get a dark colour you want there for the shade. Keep it thick enough to get good lining on. But start at the inside, and as the paint wears off your brush, it's going to get lighter and lighter, and yeah. you hand paint those in instead of wash them in, so you get maximum control. Really bring that, really bring that shape round. You did alright with those on um, Araman. He's got those horns with the same sort of bit to them. Yeah, I mean, I've managed to keep most of the colour out of the indents, but obviously it's still it's very difficult to do that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, uh, <coughs> we should invest in a lining brush. They're really, really long. I mean, I like a long ended, a long bristled brush, but uh, they are insanely lengthy. I think they were for like lining on tanks or something. Cars. Really? Yeah, they're using cars. Real world cars, not scale cars. Oh, real cars? Yeah, real world. Nah, none of that reality around here. Reality? None of that. Nope. That would explain why that didn't feel the same. I ended up using the Windsor Newton instead. Different brush. Yeah, because I just picked it up. Right. I wanted a clean brush so I didn't accidentally get any blue on your model. Alright. The blue's starting to get there. This turkey neck's not very fun to paint. And the back's not the greatest. Let's see if I can get this arm done in like one or two coats. Well, people keep popping in and out of the live stream. But it's better when they say something, though, and then we have something to respond to. It's, it's not as awkward as I thought it would be, you know, when we started recording on Monday. Yeah, yeah. But now I sort of miss the banter and the chat with whoever's online. Uh, I don't know. Just, it's like having extra people in the studio to talk to. Yeah, man. All right, so. Put some moisture that up. Hmm. This bit would be the highlight, so. A little bit of this off-white. And this blue. And then just start colouring that in. Then a little bit of the dark blue. And the light blue. Mm, 
from the very dark blue towards the bottom. Start blending them together. Finish some of that off with a bit of Arbuckle Brown. It really does help blend those blues for some reason. Very good for the shading. Maybe it just looks good because it's a Nurgle model and it adds that extra tone that it needs to make it look a bit more rotten. again dark blues Or some light blue. Not mess that up by putting the paints on in the wrong order. So easy to do. It sort of varies on which way you want to blend it. Yeah, yeah. Whether you want to go light to dark or dark to light, and it's so easy to just put your brush in the paint and then go the wrong direction. Brown. This technique requires such a small amount of paint, it's very easy to overdo it. Not sure what colour to do the gore on this.
using the top highlight of the light blue and a little bit of the white at the moment. No, no, no noise. Yeah, silence can be deafening. Because you want a history tour, aren't you? Yeah, but everyone gets the evidence off the internet nowadays, and the internet is not reliable for information anymore, even if it ever was. You can always Google yourself wrong, and you can always Google yourself correct. That's a problem. Sure, what color to do the gore for this one, but it might help bring some of the other model details in. Back to the chicken neck, dude's got a red ass chicken neck. We're a simple species, aren't we? We call it the triangle trade. Why? Because it looks like a triangle. It isn't like, um, what is it? Americans call autumn fall. Because the leaves fall down. As we call it autumn, which is like um, something it's based on a Greek word.
back to the dark blue. Paint the shading back in. It's a good model, but that bit of neck is a bit of a pain. I'm trying not to cough into the mic. Right, so this neck's a pain to paint. Need to figure out what colour I'm going to do for the gore on this. Start picking some of the bits out to break the model up because it's a bit flat. The metallic work was, it's alright. I'm enjoying the tone of the skin. Back to scale 75. Oh, buckle brown. And slowly blend that in with a lighter blue. Right, guys. We've been painting this one for a long time, but this technique takes takes a long time. So it's not like the games workshop step that we usually do on our tutorials. All right. Then a nice light blue in there. Try not to overpower the all the highlights that I've done. Right, I need to take a smoke break. It's been ages. Need to get this face done so I can move on to the helmet as well. Uh, back in a minute. That's typical. I jump off for a smoke break and our numbers start going up. I'll be back shortly. And is still here if you want to bother him.
I just start mixing up some other colours or I'm going to go mad. I'll start bringing out this goal. What colour should I use? See what we got. Tusk fur. Old mixing brush. Hmm. Also, this orange leather that could work. I do my palette. I'll put two blobs of paint on. One of them I'll water down and one of them straight from the pot. Because with this technique, I need to use a bit more consistency, be in control of the consistency of the paint. Doing these very small amounts of paint does keep the paint palette oh, very neat, though. Slavery has not been abolished, it just includes everybody now. And some purpley reds as well. Let's get You can just tell on this wet palette how thick the pigment is in uh, Games Workshop paint, Andy. You have to put. You have, have you seen the spread? Andy, have you seen the spread on these? Like, oh, yeah, yeah. It barely spreads at all. You don't need much water for the other ones, but with Games Workshop paint, you always need to add so much more water. And I'm going to need some nasty red that isn't corn. Can I get an equivalent of corn red from you, please, Andy, from scale 75? Something similar. Is that dark enough? Uh, also, the one you've got on your desk might be... That looks a little bit better. This is... Hosto Purple. Okay, so let's try and do some of this gore. One of the best bits of Nurgle models, really. Just wet the surface before we start. I'm going to make some nice pink colours for this. Feel free to say something on, on the live stream, guys. Gives me and Andy something more to talk about. At the moment, we're just listening to a documentary in the background while we paint. Okay, so, let's see. Try the Tusk of Fur. And that red. Red in the deep section. That looks like it's going to be a good combination. Add a little bit more of that red in there. The surface is a bit wet. Let's then try the Tusker fur and add a little bit of the off white.
Alright then, a little bit more off white. No, that's not working very well. I do like the colours though. So trying this technique on all these different all these different textures. But I will keep going from one uh, one set of models to another just to stop myself getting bored more than anything. Alright. With more of the Tuscafer and off white. These will be the highlights. <laughs> Missed out those that work on the backs. Add a little bit of red, just to add, instead of a shade, more of a depth. Hopefully blend those together within the, although this technique uh, is not working too well for this. I love and hate this technique. You either get it right, or you just make a mess. Of course they went to hanging for fun, there wasn't much entertainment. And the human race is obsessed with death. Oh, today we're up to four viewers. Welcome to the live stream guys. They probably have the Arbuckle Brown into this as well. dry up a little bit. Is that coming up okay on camera for you guys? dry a little bit. Start picking out some more of these uh, skin tones. A little bit of Tusker Fur by Games Workshop. Definitely helping to break up the model.
little bit of red and Tusker fur. And I'm going to blend that in there. And that's a bit strong. I want that around those edges. A little bit more Tusker fur and the off white now. Let's bring up that little area there and the one above the hole. It does give a nice contrast to the bluish skin. So what's everybody painting at the moment? Tusker fur. Starting to blend okay. All right, calm down. Should do. Eventually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some uh, lines across this to make it look more like intestines. Could add a little bit of purple into that just to tone it some more. Sort of lacks the depth that it needs though. Thank you. 
this hand has something done, maybe I can get that done. Our audience is not very talkative today, Andy. It is what it is. Okay, so I'll start doing these blues again for anyone who hasn't seen them. Let's start with. Alright, I want my highlights on the knuckles, but I also want some shade here. So, a little bit of that dark blue. And that green. We'll add that little bit to the knuckle. Start brushing back ever so slightly to change that tone. Just keep adding a little bit of that green to the blend. Uh, as it gets closer and closer to the uh, very shaded area under the strap, that's where we'll add and blend in the arbuckle brown to change the tones. There's a slight purpley red hue to the hand. A little bit of the light blue as well now. I did not go to plant. That's not as bright as I would like it to be. Right. Trying to get some more of that metallic work done. Using bright brass model air metallic.
Now what we mix into this oh, wait, is white alchemy for the highlight instead of a regular white. That way we don't lose any of the metallic look. And Arbuckle Brown again. It blends the metallics very nicely. Oh, that's in focus. I might start doing this with medium as well. <coughs> well, the gold would be the mid tone and the white, but what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of the white on first and surround that with the gold. Let's wait for this bit of model to dry. And we're going to go from the gold to the bright color up here. But the reason I want to use medium is because the water makes these metallics separate very easily. Yeah, it's still too wet. Arbuckle brown towards the bottom. Didn't clean that brush off properly. That's really easy to do when you're using the brush a lot to just smudge colours around. So a bit more gold it should start to blend. Still a bit more purple. I bet I've ended up using the wrong brown for this. There's a good chance I didn't take notes either. How's your project going, Andy? Yeah, alright, mate. The uh, lights have moved in. Oh, you've switched again. Yeah. You need to get a second camera set up. Probably by next week, at the latest. That is the plan. That is good, yeah. Nope, I really messed that up. But with the layers being so thin, you can always brush them off, start again. Oh, you've got all the top. Yeah. Well, brushing them off, even if it makes it smudge kind of works because it just resets the surface so you can just go straight back over it because it's that thin all right painting you for a while just sit back over there what do you Andy, what do you reckon yeah yeah it's all right it took a lot longer than i'd hoped No, not really. Well, yeah, technically I'm trying to learn to paint quicker, so I'm kind of rushing them. I 
Alright, this time I'll start doing some purples. Had a little bit more practice with this one than the others. So I'm going to put in a little bit of off white on top of the purple. Start in that top corner. Blend that to the dark purple around that area there. And even a tiny bit of the blue, or bluey green, I think it's the spare green down at the bottom. Clean my brush. And I should be able to blend this. dark blue just bad green even I keep getting it mixed up with the is it hold all blue I'm not sure what the scale 75 one's called but that went on pretty smooth to be honest that's uh, one of those rare moments where I get the, the technique perfectly correct and then a tiny bit of purple and the extreme white. Bring that purple up to the white around the edges. And just blend that on the model. That's how I'm wanting to learn to paint. One palette, like a minute or something, get it done. It's not perfect. I think I'm going to start priming these with a lighter color just to make the blending easier. But that's the, the technique was correct. As you can see there, blend from one to another. the shade back in and the brush the opposite way bring it out a little bit into the model clean your brush and pull it back in the other way so it just leaves traces of the color it was supposed to be day of painting these models like I managed to get the technique right about four or five times do the other side of the boot So now the highlight would be in this corner here.
a bit too much white. It does come off super easy though. It's not like you've just completed a level. What you got going on? <laughs> oh, the Eldar. Yeah, they're coming on nice then, mate. Have you just finished another one? Yeah, I wouldn't be. Oh yeah, I have to cast more bases. I forgot about that. Fun. It's no fun casting bases. Hopefully the weather will pick up and it'll get a bit easier. Yeah. Ah, I've just smudged all my white off. Yeah, but it's 400 points that looks good. <laughs> I'll have to get that of a camera set up so everyone can see what you're up to. No, I want people watching me. I'm not allowed to watch me do built things. It's a very unique looking army. That one will be, yeah. Still trying to blend just a little bit of white to that top there. You're tired, bro. Oh, always tired, isn't it? Yeah. Trans woman claims she can get period. I claim I don't care. I'm assuming you don't actually, you know. I, at all. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a you problem. <laughs> it sounds like a, oh, stupid. Definitely sounds like a you problem though. Yeah. <laughs> I wish the, the internet would stop trying to make its problems our problems. <coughs> Just because we have the whole world's information in one place doesn't mean we should read it all. And that foot is acceptable, I guess. It didn't come out as well as the palette above it, but now that's dry, I can see it needed a bit more of that mid tone. Not sure whether I need to learn to do this with more colours or less. More different tones of purple or less. Would it be simpler to do it with less? Or am I overcomplicating it by using so many different tones? I'm only going to figure that out by uh, repeatedly doing it. Alright, let's try and bring that spike of the armour back up. Actual white, blob of actual white, that could be a bit much, a little bit of that pink.
dark purple, so tone that down a bit. And a little bit of the green. So I kind of like not to blend. It's a good sturdy shade for this. And let's shade that back down. At times this process feels like a paint by numbers. With how specific you need to be with your paint placement. That's a little bit more like it. giggling about <laughs> that is awesome that is a savage meme a little bit more of that blue in the middle there. I like how it makes a cold shade for the model. Gives a good contrast to the purples. Oh, random. <laughs> so, what? what? <laughs> Brain just went,
where would the highlight be? to the purple blend in and blue what are you looking for? Yeah, I've got the photo booth set up so I can get some more photos of those later. They're actually decent. Unlike the uh, terrible camera ones. Although your camera's better than mine. spine from there. I'm trying to keep this in focus. Right, back to the uh, off white. A little bit of purple. Start painting the purple until it starts to go bright pink from the white. Add a little bit of. Oh, that's the third time I've dropped my brush now. Uh, throwing your models on the table or dropping your brush. Uh, a little bit of that purple above that bright area. So blend them together there. And a little bit towards the bottom here. And then blue to add that bit of shading. Blend all those colors together. Just thin that down a little bit too much, I think. Blend in the blues, cover that mess I just made. With the tagline, one down, eight to go. Yeah, at least it's not a, an orc army, where it's like eight more units of 30 boys. No, I've just got eight 
109 plus bikes and jet bikes in it, which is shit. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it looked good. It did. It you, you seem like you're having a lot of fun with that project. Yeah. And at the end of the day, yeah, it might suck as an army, but it'll look fucking cool as an army. Aye. Isn't that one of the main reasons we pick armies in the first place when we start the hobby? Is because it looks cool. Yeah. It's going to be an entertaining game, so screw it. Aye. Now I need to that last fucking flamer, don't I? Flamer? Oh, you've got one you missed. Yeah. Just one. Just one. After all that batch painting. Yeah. And they, they look good. They do. Never mattered. Oh, you put a mat on them? They just look good from a distance. Good choice of colours. Then again, if you look at the uh, colours I'm currently using, and the, you, could say why I'd, you could see why I'd say they have a good choice in colour. Yeah, they're pretty much the exact same tones. Yeah. Uh, I really don't want to do it, but we need do it, it needs doing. What's that? This fucking thing. I'll get it at least in it like, and I can have it finished tomorrow so I can set it to get rid of it all rather than having to wait a week yeah. for one model. That's a long time to wait for one model. I bet it's proper doing your head in that like you would have had them all finished by now. Yeah, if you'd not left one outside. I'll double check you haven't left any more anywhere. I can't see any more. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, ten and three, yeah, that's right, yeah. <sighs> nah, I'm just fucking wait till tomorrow. I'm gonna do that fresh. First thing tomorrow, get it all done in one go. Makes sense. You'll have the uh, warthog by Monday, probably. Cool. Right, it's so a blue. Yay! You love non metallic metal. I can't see why. Well, I can. It's a good technique to know. It looks freaking cool when it's done. Not even sure what I call this technique at this point because I've, as the day progresses, I end up finding myself not doing the loaded bush at all and just doing some weird blends. So, kind of bodge technique, what makes things look good? Yeah, but it doesn't make it quicker, really, which is what I'm going for. Quicker and neater. I do, but I'll figure it out eventually. Yeah, that's everything. Just keep stumbling forward, mate. It's always overrated. I keep stumbling to the left. It's like one step back forward, three steps back, two steps forward. <laughs> four steps left. Uh, 
I'm going to be Macarena in a minute. Ah, Jen's a master of the Macarena, man. It's ridiculous. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. Yeah, neither am I. <laughs> it was a bizarre sesh. Apparently, every massive group of people that are partying needs somebody within that group that knows all the moves to the Macarena. Apparently, Jen has been appointed <laughs> the one person who remembers all the moves. There's only four moves in there. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. I'm going to start busting that out into, like the, into the skibbity at some point. It looks like a bit of a time warp or something. Oh, the time warp? I don't know. Who makes these moves for these weird dancers well, anyway? The time warp was done, it looks actually in the song. Yeah. There's a bunch of weird songs like that out there. Well, it's from Rocky Horror, isn't it? Yeah, I haven't seen that movie in a long time. Is that a good thing? Probably. Probably, yeah. I think I've only seen it once, though. I can't Did really remember. Yeah. <laughs> I watched it not long since. Oh, yeah. Isn't it a musical? That's yeah. all I can remember. It is, yeah. Sarah finished up singing along. Because, you know, it's all songs to That just, for some reason, the lyrics stick in your head from years ago. Supposed to do. He was out of town and his two friends were so fine. Like, uh, how about not be a hole? Yeah. <laughs> you know, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I keep. This technique is an absolute bugger for the. Um... Losing your lower lip? No, the spazzy hand syndrome because the movements are so small and then. You go to do a big movement with your hand and it's like, <laughs> just throw your brush across the room for no reason. Yay! It's like your, your mind's been used to using such a little force that a giant movement, just your hand doesn't know what it's doing anymore. Petroleum. Come in and save the fucking day, yeah. Go love a bit of Team America, maybe. Classic movie. I wish those guys had made some more movies, actually. I think they've got Team America and Basketball, both of which were really, really funny. I'm a South Park movie. Uh, yep, I don't know. How the hell did I forget that? I think it's because I was trying to think of things that weren't South Park. Yeah, South Park movie falls into that category as well. It pretty much is the category, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I suppose, actually, by definition, it would be. How's that looking? It's looking all right, mate. Lucky all right. Bite me, Angle. Fucking bite me. He would. Is he trying to bugger off again? Yeah. But I have wings! That probably makes him rather top heavy, though. I've got one of them bases where I've got slots cut into it though. So it pops inside of it? Yeah. Whether he wants to stay in it or not is a different matter. Let's see what this. Hey! We're on live stream. 
It's actually come up on my YouTube. Has it? Yeah. Don't put that on with with a nasty feedback <laughs> loop. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> As it like infinitely spawns our noise. <laughs> Well, the camera should turn up this evening, so I'm going to start setting up the other one. person Fair enough <laughs> <laughs> It's that time of the day where Big Mex gets political. Welcome to political hour. Peace and quiet, what's that?
That's fucking dumb. Yep. The reason That's why it was a nice gesture, but then again, mm. I was like, so I wouldn't know. Yeah. Right. Just going over some of these edges now with nothing but the off white. It might be a bit excessive. Hopefully when it dries, it will be toned down a little bit. That's a weird place for an advert. Is that a tank game? Total War. The War Oh. I don't think I've played that one yet. You can't get out and play it. That'll be why. Just completely missed my model. What the hell is that?
happy now to wash this brush a bit better. I like minstrels. Or is it minstrels? What's the little chocolates called? Minstrels. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm glad I was, you know, vindicated on that because yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> oh, crap, I have to wait that's coming up. Check out that right leg. Set leg. Or rib oh, yes. leg. Not rib leg. <laughs> I has rib leg. Well, someone else just signed and I watched the live stream and that's probably the first thing they heard. Yeah. We've just got videos on in the background to keep us from going insane as we paint. Alright. Back to glazing this. No, not glazing. Loaded brush. Alright. A little bit of purple. And... A little bit of the dark purple and bring that back up a little bit more add a little bit more of the dark every time I find that works better is to add a little bit of the extra color and then move along to the side a bit Categorically wrong. That's uh, coming up pretty nice now. I'm not looking forward to doing the helmet. It's really difficult to do the round surfaces with this technique. Uh, what are you working on, Andy? I'm just uh, bringing the yellow out on the. Uh, Let's have a look at some of that. Let's put it on live stream for a minute. Non-metallic that's not finished on Angron's arm. That chest piece is really coming up with a non-metallic though. Blood for the blood gods. Corn does not care. Corn does not care where the blood flows from, as long as it flows. Yeah, that's actually coming up really nice. That. Wikipedia's on side on, on your side. <laughs> yeah, it's gone dead quiet in here. No one's leaving us any messages. I had a nice chat this morning and yesterday. Well, the problem with the internet is you can Google yourself right or wrong. 
Because all Google does is find sites with information that you might want. Ah, <laughs> trust the police. Idiot came up with that idea. Quite happy with this area. Yeah, whoever's watching at the moment, they've joined us at like political hour. We've just got bored and stuck, stuck some videos on in the background. Because we're not 100% sure on the rules of music when it comes to streaming on YouTube. And we need some background sound. Alright, so. The highest point of highlight will be there. So. Get a little bit of that pinky purple. Alright, and then a little bit of that white. No, that's not right. Right, I messed that up, so I'll go back in with the dark purple. And a little bit of despair green. I hate people that clap like that when they're talking. Yeah. I don't think they can have dysphoria for periods. Young girls are born, they don't have periods for a long time. They don't have a dysphoria or any, oh, I should be doing this. Think about it. <coughs> So how could you then have a dysphoria for something even young girls wouldn't have because it's not pre-programmed until that point, if you know what I mean. Anyway, back on with the actual painting. Um, Alright, a bit more water. Tiny bit of that purple and a little bit of white. We're going to blend those on the model. 
and I've knocked my camera again. We need an editor to go for our live stream and just get the Mortal Kombat thing. Whoopsie. Let's blank out all the swearing. How long that'd take on this video? Yeah, because it's five hours of video, non stop. Yeah. There's only a few swear words. As far as we can remember. We'll get the knack of the live stream eventually. That wants to be brighter there. If it goes on too white, yeah, add a little bit more that purple. We have some, a reasonable job of keeping it cleanish. Yeah, but when you make mistakes on a model, you're bound to swear. A little bit of green. Let's bring that down into the shade. That's pretty much that shoulder pad done. Tough with the right leg though. I managed to get that to look something like what it was supposed to. What a leg. Yeah. Well done. Can you imagine? <laughs> managed to make a leg look like a leg. What, instead of a rib leg? Yeah. They call it rib leg. I did learn a valuable lesson though. Get paid. First. Yeah. Uh, just slapped him upside head with rib leg. <laughs> Stop it, weird. Could have done when it had a point on it. <laughs> I'll probably put some photos of this on Instagram at some point. Still think that the extreme whites are too much as well, like the cream, but then they seem a bit, the colours blend in a sort of faded manner. Muted is the word I was looking for actually. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. I don't really watch many of his videos. I don't fancy learning Spanish. Not so you can watch a video. I don't know. I had a mate who used to do that. He used to just learn different languages so he could watch video. Uh, videos without the subtitles. No, that was my mate Johnny. He was learning Japanese just so we could watch Japanese stuff without subtitles. Yeah. Nothing today, I'll be. Yep. I'm learning old fucking old Nordic on Gothic, you know what I mean? It's like, why? Because yeah. he can. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, we've missed out on a couple of, a couple of weeks now. Oh, your D&D games. Yeah. I said, I don't know, we're playing 40k. Now, uh, it took me a second to catch up. We've been, we've been in Russia a couple of weeks. All right. And then obviously we had some babysitters back. Oh, them stories. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Recently it's been a problem with being a clown. Yeah. Someone's got to do it. Oh, what? I've got a random hair coming at me. Artist Opus. Purples are difficult to do. So they change tone depending on what you're doing as well as brightness. Yeah. There's a lot to, you know, you need to make sure you've got a consistent tone. Because uh, if you're using the wrong one, you wind up with a pink instead of a, yep. a blue. Which is not what you want, but that's kind of why I went for the uh, bluey green undertone. You know, go over and blend them all back together uh, for a shade. sure what colour I'm going to do with the flesh for this. Oh, I started it already, didn't I? I haven't done any of the back panels. What about your back patches? Oh, that's been painted. It's that guy with a prolapsed anus. I think it's both. That's what I'm thinking. You're the kind of guy you're going to find him that finding himself on your bed naked. Like you did this morning. <laughs> With all the holy relics in your house. What's going on? Just to file the holy relics. No, he was defiling himself with them. <sighs> that's, what, that's what really threw me. Yeah, it's all right then. I was, like, was it like the scene from The Exorcist? Yeah, but we dude. Uh, things get strange on your game. Yours, mate. I wish my game would get strange, or at least have something going on with it. Lazy ass Bethesda. I've not had any any um, random family member fall through to be ever. No. Fingers crossed. Oh, I'm gonna, uh, like I say, on the next playthrough, uh, that will happen. I've been on your previous ones as well, didn't it? Yeah. But you caused that, I think. No, 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 that was a completely accidental one. I did actually oh, try to start. Oh, wait, yeah, you told me about the accidental one. I'm getting them mixed up. Yeah, I was, I was gonna do a deliberate one. Mm hmm. Uh, like I say, I found, um, I found you can create your own characters, and that's gonna make a whole lot of difference. Yeah. So I'm guessing you're going to go for something completely mental on that playthrough. Oh, yeah. A little bit of purple. Got invaded by um, Norse adventurers um, yesterday. That, like, that must have been sore. And they're like this fucking this massive army turned up, like 8,000 strong. Mm hmm. Anyway, I managed to fight him the first time around. Like, yeah, that was happy days. Yeah. Mm. Uh, then, I've managed, uh, at this point, I've conquered, uh, at that point, I've just conquered um, Ireland and part of uh, Scotland. So I'm um, still fairly small. Um, yeah. But now I'm starting to conquer. I've conquered all of Ireland, all of Scotland, all of Wales, and I'm starting on England now. 
and they came at me again. Yeah. With their 8,000 strong army. This time round, I was like, meh. Because you've got how many? 14,000 of better quality troops. <laughs> and went, yeah, that will... Deal with that. Yeah, that will solve the problem. <laughs> so, there you go, deal with that. My um, current character, my ki- the current king, he was an absolute badass. And he's still a badass now. So um, you get this stat called prowess. Mm-hmm. Your personal combat ability. Yeah. Mm-hmm. At uh, 10 is average. Yeah. And right. at level 15 is considered excellent. Mm-hmm. Well, bearing in mind, he's suffering minus 20 for his age. He's got a um, prowess skill. 25. <laughs> Dude is an absolute machine. Yeah. He's not the hardest bloke I've got. No? No. There's a bloke who um, has uh, got a pro S stat like 50. I'm like, I didn't know it went that high. Yeah. He's <laughs> literally just like walking around going, <laughs> fuck you, just fall over and die. You know, like Michael Caine in there. Yeah. <laughs> you know who I am? <laughs> Oh, is it? It's, uh, that's, I know that. It's a sec. It's Austin Powers. Do you know yeah. what I am? We should just fall over and die, son. Do you, really, you know how many minions I've killed in my life? Just lay down. <laughs> you, have, you have really got a name tag. <laughs> <laughs> minion just lays there like, sorry. Well, I guess I'm dead. <laughs> uh, Michael Caine's a dude, though. Yeah. It's like, it's like that. Just dimbling around battlefields like... Do you know who I am? Just making other people just roll over. <laughs> it's just easy to roll over and play dead. Bit more pink. Yeah, people come and go on this. As I said yesterday, it's going to take a while to get a... An actual following of any kind. Yeah, consistent view, uh, following. I am kind of happy with that leg because I can see the detailing on it from a distance. Yeah. I still think some of the whites can be brought out to a sharper point. But this isn't my usual style. I've got to figure it out, learn it, customize it for myself, if you know what I mean. Yeah. My other style was very much my own style. It's mainly all glazing though, which that can be super tedious. And I'm not sitting and glazing any orcs. Well, I'll I, I lie, I probably will, but not the way I was doing it. I can lie to you. <laughs> Just kidding myself, really, aren't I? You are, mate. Maybe. Get it your way, you'd glaze off a blooming, gl- blooming glut or something. Oh, no. No, I just don't have enough time in a day now. You know, with the, all the fallout things and everything me and Jen are doing. It's like, not enough time. <laughs> Trying to work smarter, not harder. You, smart. Well, trying to work less. And the other thing with our live stream is it's not the best, best timing for everybody because it's the work day. But I'm sure, I was saying to uh, our lass that uh, sure over summer it'd pick up because there'd be loads of people at home with kids looking for something else to do. Yeah. Makes sense, doesn't it? Uh, it would help if I started putting notes out that we are actually live streaming. I haven't done much work on this computer recently. Tech's been going all mad, though, isn't it? It's morning with computer, yeah. 
Mm. Computer's like, help, I'm dying. That sounds like reversing from in the van, didn't it? Yeah, uh, made me very uncomfortable, that noise. I was like, oh no, what's happened? <laughs> I've never heard a computer make that noise before. I don't think it should. I don't know what the hell it was. I'm hoping it was just that cable being loose. Yes, when you fix it, it shouldn't stop. Yeah. Yeah, it was bound to happen with me moving all the uh, new cameras and everything up there. Start painting purple, painting purple. Start painting purple with me now. Go, go, Bordella. That is a weird band. That I've seen live. When we get a fan following, we should ask a whole bunch of people on the live stream to name a band that I haven't seen live. See how long it takes. Genesis. Genesis? I have not seen them live, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> I have seen Steel Panther, though, which I know you also went to see. Your boobs. Yep. I wasn't really like I never really knew who they were at the time or anything, so I wasn't really bothered. It's like yeah, they don't take themselves seriously at all, which is good. Life's too short to be serious. You get as many giggles as you can, then die. It's a simple philosophy. It is. It works. Now, if you have the like, un unfortunate, like, yeah, if you're unfortunate enough to be born a miserable git anyway, the philosophy still works. That'd be harder to achieve. The technique didn't work very well for the cloak. The front came out okay. So it's not good for um, flowing movements? It doesn't seem that way, but I will have to figure that out. It could have just been me painting it. I mean, yeah. that's the first one I've done. I mean, it looks blended enough. But it's not what I'm used to. I'm going to put some metallics on the front, I think. So I'll break the model up. I have no idea what colours I was using for the uh, flesh. We'll have to start taking notes again. We've got uh, people watching, Richard. It's like, anyone you know what I'll say? What will you Just ask, ask them, what colour will that? <laughs> It does seem the smoother the object that you are trying to do this technique on, the harder it is to do. The rounder, not the smoother. Yeah, yeah the rounder. Same. I know what you meant. That bright brass separates really badly. Have you seen this? Oh, yeah, I well, know it does. That was bright brass, like... About half an hour ago, it's just turned into nothing. Is it? Four feet, I think. Four feet. 
No, uh-huh, not the actual day. It's Wednesday, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know where the year's disappearing to. It just does that. It's like, it'll be January, and then before you know it, it's April. You're like... <laughs> Where do I go? Does it all the time. Boom. Time. Gone. I think it's time then. Walking around the screen all the hours. you got to go somewhere. pink and then a little bit more of the green to blend in too much white I also find when loading the brush to get the other colour to go on evenly around so you don't muck it up you sort of twist the you know, lighter ball of colour you've got on your brush the loaded brush mm. then twist your brush around to make sure you get another blob around the outside of it so you don't end up with just one side of your brush with one colour that's how I'm doing it anyway um, so like a little ball of one colour paint surrounded by another colour. Because I, f I find that it mucks up a lot more when I uh, don't make sure I've got it done that way. And it seems like the loaded brush is all about the scroll of the paint blob in essence. Yeah, pretty much. The application is very different as well. I think it'd be easier, but it's essentially all I'm doing is blending two paints together on a model. You could do it in a in a wet palette all the time, and you mix paints together. You've got deliberate control of what, what colours go in when. Whereas mm. with the loaded brush, it'll come at a specific moment. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think I see what you're saying. Why? I don't know. I don't even like them. No, I've never been a massive fan of the chili peppers, to be honest. Uh, 
bit more of the off-white, try and bring that colour up a little bit more. Overrated bands. Taste is all subjective, though. Yeah, some people have it. And some people don't. I have it. Some people don't. You can either agree with me or be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's that. <laughs> so there. A very basic argument, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, what comedian was it? Sorry. Oh, going on about rights and opinions. Like, everyone has the right to say what they want and express their opinion. Well, my opinion is you have no right to your opinion, so shut up. Sounds like Jim Jeffries before he went all PC. Jim Jeffrey didn't go PC. Did he? I hope not. The Australian dude. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's it. That's a shame. Then we, um, Frankie Boyle. He went massive. Um, U-turn, he did. How could Frankie Boyle even do a performance if he went PC? It's Frankie Boyle. Like... I am, I expect to immediately be offended the second that man's mouth opens. That's why I watch him. Like Jimmy Carr. Yep. I love Jimmy Carr with the ace. The chat's dead quiet today. Feel free to join in the conversation, guys. Like, They will be finishing at about five o'clock, I think, which won't be long. Bloody hell, are you singing? I've got a song I'm going to say, I don't remember that being a, a Red Hot Chili Peppers lyric. <laughs> that blended okay. Not the greatest. It's not the greatest paint job in the world. Yep. This is not the greatest paint job in the world. This is just a tribute. Mm, so, well, it's not the whole model that uh, I'm really trying to get finished. It's just using the palette, uh, using the armor plating as a base for trying these techniques out but I suppose I may as well finish him at some point you got Tenacious D stuck in my head now could be worse could be chilly yeah I suppose could be bad it's like Bob Marley I find him massively overrated don't I? I think it is very overrated But each to their own, I guess. Yeah. Not everybody's got taste. Yeah, I've got some nice things like I hope it's jacket potato. Oh, you can suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> A nice long day at office, get home, jacket potato. That's what you get for getting tenacious D stuck in my head. A man can't live on a jacket tater. I don't mind it now and then. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, that was, like, was a period of time where I had it like three times in a week or some shit. No, that's too much. I was like, no! No, that's too much. <laughs> I 
Now, I wouldn't even do a jacket of taters three times in a week, even with different toppings. At least cut the potato into chips or something. Yeah, you can make loads of t- stuff with tater. Yeah, you can jacket tater with chips, jacket tater without uh, with cheese, jacket tater. Oh, I would like seriously. I don't want jacket tater anymore. Ready? You actually had to just be like, no more tater, please. I did. I like. Yeah. I, I, I just. I walked in. She had jacket tater, and I was like, no. When I last used to cook all the time and that, I can't put the up. There is times, but they just like. I do as well when I cook it, like you fall into the same routine of like, we'll have this, and we'll have this, and it's like, we're eating this far too often. I can't remember what it was. But yeah, well, I think it was like a stew or something, but we're having it like two or three times a week or something, and it's like, no more stew, please. Yeah. Yeah, uh, she went best please, but she understood, but look, yeah. I've had it like four times this week already, and it's like, Thursday. <laughs> you look at kitchen she's got one of those huge like industrial sized things of jacket but like bags full of taters it's just like we've got to get through them and I'm like so I should make do something else with she wasn't best pleased about it but she understood my point yeah that's all you really need yes you can eat them all the time thank you I don't particularly like them. I don't mind them for a change, you know. As a change. Yeah. That time, it's nice. Yeah, my work's getting lazy now with this blending technique. It's very mentally draining. It's starting to get late. Yeah. Uh, the work's nowhere near as good as it was this morning. I'm going to put turbo mode on. I'm going to do nothing in turbo. He's going to do nothing for ages and then wait for the moment where it gets turned off and is like, I'm going to start doing things now. It's time for an update. Isn't that always the bloody case? It's had all day. Yeah. You've literally just been sat there, not even as a glorified jukebox. Yeah, doing nothing. And then the second you're going to turn it off, it's time for an update now. I bloody hate updates. We're going to change the settings on this program that you've set up for perfectly just for you. Uh huh. I'm sure you are. And you're not going to go. M- I think I'm being shouted. That was an again, yes. One sec, babe! Just stream. Yeah, we may as well end the stream now, anyway. Alright, we'll catch you a lot later, I guess. Alright. And stream.